they all started out as just faces in a very large curling crowd. But after a week, they've become familiar now to fans right across the country. The best women curlers in Canada. 12 teams beginning play. And all of them with the hope and the dream of being among the final four. And hoping that they might have a chance when it's all said and done to be the team standing highest on the podium. The champion of the 97 Scott Tournament of Arts. We've been here now a full week. This is the seventh day, but it's the first day. It's playoff day here at the Scott Tournament of Arts. And from the field of 12 that began play last Saturday, we're down to the final four, including two-time Canadian and world champion Sandra Schmerler of Saskatchewan. Also making the playoffs, a former Canadian champion, 1990 winner, Ontario's Allison Goring. Finishing third, she made the final two years ago before losing to Connie Laliberti, Edmonton's Kathy Borst. And from The Rock, hey, you're a curler on The Rock, aren't you? Laura Phillips, two from the east, two from the west. That's balance. So the opening semifinal is three against four. It's Alberta against Newfoundland, Borst against Phillips. And since they've been playing for the Canadian Women's Championship in 61, Alberta with the edge in playoffs, but head to head, it's 1-1. The page system, Saskatchewan plays Ontario. The winner goes right through to the final. The loser there gets a second chance against this winner to determine who will play in Sunday's championship game to determine the 97 champion. Round robin play wound up yesterday, and all the tiebreakers, well, didn't materialize. Saskatchewan alone in first clear by two games, Ontario, Alberta, Newfoundland. On through all the rest, and British Columbia, and a long week for the hometown team, Kelly Owen from nearby Richmond, finishing at three and eight. So our opening playoff is three against four, Borst against Phillips, Alberta against Newfoundland. The winner to move on. And we'll have one against two, Schmerler against Goring, coming up at 9 p.m. Eastern time. It is a big day. It's playoff day here in Vancouver. The 1997 Scott Tournament of Hearts from Vancouver is brought to you by Pillowy Soft Purex Bathroom Tissue. It is Vancouver's great market, the Granville Market on Granville Island on the shores of False Creek. And everything your heart desires, or your stomach in this case, from the freshest of breads, dairy products, meats, including my favorite, Swiss Lundjäger, or produce and vegetables. When was the last time you saw a strawberry this size? Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Vancouver and TSN's continuing coverage of this 1997 Scott Tournament of Hearts. It's playoff day. We're down to the final four. We avoided all the tiebreakers that we thought might happen, and now in our first playoff game, Newfoundland against Alberta. St. John's Laura Phillips against Edmonton's Kathy Borst. The winner moves on to tomorrow's semifinal. The loser is out. With more, Lyndon Ray. Thanks, Vic, but bring a few of those strawberries back for us. Linda, in all your trips to Switzerland, which has been many, mm -hmm. have you ever heard of Swiss Lundager? No. Vic, really, give your head a shake. Swiss Lundager. This should be a terrific game, Linda. When you look at the stats, the teams are pretty equal. But Heather Gobertson came out of the chute early and has curled up a storm here for a young junior, junior world junior champion. Kathy Cunningham got off to a slow start, but she's come on strong lately. We've seen Kathy play over the years. We know what a good curler she is. She's going to have to be big today. When the two teams met in round robin play, it was Alberta winning 7-6. And one of the big reasons was Heather Godperson. She curled 91%, obviously a little bit higher than the Newfoundland third. But in the second half of the week, it's been Kathy Cunningham with the big numbers. 
Watch also when you're watching the game today, the relationship between the skips and the thirds. Laura Phillips and Kathy Cunningham have a very comfortable, warm way about them. It's been a little harder, I think, for Kathy Boris with first time world junior champion, Heather Godberson coming to play with her. They have a little bit more trouble deciding on the shots and getting ready to play. So we'll see with the extra pressure if that's a problem today. What else have you got for us, Vic? Now, if fresh seafood is what you're after, the place to come at the Granville Market is the Lobster Man. Clams, snails, scallops, they all come from the West Coast. The mussels, though, from the East Coast, and Prince Edward Island in particular. Look at the beautiful Dungeness crab available here. But if lobster is what you want, well, look at this. Come here, let's go fishing. What do we got here? Come on, there you are, buddy. Look at this. Lobster flown in fresh every day from Nova Scotia. When we come back, the playoffs begin. It is Alberta against Newfoundland as TSN's coverage, sorry about that, of this, the 97 Scott Turnot of Hearts continues. I'll put you back now. a commercial for Bounty Jumbo, it would end right here. But it's a commercial for Scott Towel's Jumbo, which soaks up big spills as well as Bounty Jumbo. Yet Scott Towel's Jumbo is 22% longer. Scott Towel's, strong, absorbent, and lots on a roll. You're all stars, performing all-star feats. They're the reason we make the new 98 Windstar with the most powerful engine in its class plus over 40 standard safety features. In fact, Windstar is the only minivan to earn five stars, the highest rating in US government front-end crash tests. A pretty spectacular feat in itself. The new 98 Ford Windstar, created for the most important people in the world. Deli shaved black forest ham, oven roasted turkey and chicken, a sorted sub. Popular downtown deli or the Winklers on Maple Street. Introducing the new and improved taste of maple leaf sandwich meats that will turn your home into a deli. Deli shaved black forest ham. Oven roasted turkey and chicken. Sub Express with ham bologna and summer sausage. You forgot the mustard on table seven. And you forgot your check. New maple leaf sandwich meats. Taste that's a cut above. Maybe you think only those jet set types need a Nokia cellular phone. Hi, it's me, flight's delayed. Well now, Nokia's making cellular phones so easy. Late, late. Can I skip my bath? They're practically child's uh -huh. play. Attention, flight 11 is delayed. Uh, can I call you back? With Nokia's big, easy to read screens, last number redial, and sleek designs. No, don't hold dinner. I'm eating my body weight in hot dogs. No, wait up, you gotta tuck me in. So get set to join the jet set. Nokia, Europe's leading cellular phone, also made in America, connecting people. Welcome back to the Agrodome here on the grounds of the PNE sure. Pacific National Exhibition. And it's a quarterfinal day. Let's call them quarterfinal. They start something here. And our game is on sheet B. Time to read the ice now with Ray. First real cloudy day. Rain is in the forecast. Will it have an effect, Ray? I don't think so, Vic. I think the dehumidifiers have done the job. Let's talk, first of all, about the speed. From that hog line to this T line, 24. It'll probably get to 25. All week long around the center guards you can get about four feet. Both turns, no problem. Lots of action. Going around the corner guards. Now we had trouble getting to the 12 foot, so my suggestion was you keep the corner guards closer to the four foot. But Hans Vutrich tells me that, Ray, you can get into the wings today. In other words, you can get over here into the 12 foot. So we'll maybe see them use it a little bit more. It's weight sensitive. You step the weight up, it'll run straight, about eight inches off the center. One note here, the intern coming towards the, us is a little higher, so you may see more play on this side of the sheet. You can't quite get over there. This is two solid teams, one from the east, one from the west, should be a good one. They both finished with records of seven and four. Laura Phillips, Kathy Borst waiting to begin play. From the Otwell Curling Club, the lead Kate Horn from St. John's, Heather Martin. Throwing second stones, Brenda Bomer and Kathy Kerr. 
The battle at third could be key. Heather Godferson and Kathy Cunningham, and the two skips representing Alberta, Kathy Borse, and Newfoundland's Laura Phillips. Alberta will throw red stones. They have last rock, and so to get us going here with the first stone, first end of this quarterfinal, the Newfoundland lead, Heather Martin. Heather with terrific, terrific numbers during the round robin. But now, Ray, we get to the point where, yes, we use round robin play to talk about the teams, talk about their performances, try to get an indication of how they're moving into this day. But really, look around. It's a totally different day. One game, all the focus on you, all the pressure on every player. Yeah, in this game in particular, uh, three plays four, uh, the loser goes home. You know, so it's, it's, it's a lot of pressure in this game, Linda. And it'll be interesting to see if the young junior can uh, keep up that high standard she set. You're not going to see a lot of problems with any of these players when you look at those numbers. Very solid. Kate Horn. That Newfoundland stone put up by Heather Martin would appear just to be outside the rings there yeah, if they're playing that, around, Keith. are they? Playing to the other side. Play to the open yep. side. Yep. It's yeah, a look at three. that. Just what? Well, what? Dictates. Three inches outside the rings. And it moved into the 12 foot fine, so there's an early indication. What dictated that, Vic, was the tightness of this first guard. Too hard to get around. When we talk about people coming on strong. We mentioned Kathy Cunningham, but look at those wonderful numbers uh, for Whoa. Heather Martin in the last four Whoa. games. Whoa. And the lead sets right things up. up. They uh, set it up with that perfect guard to begin with. Heather forced the other team yes, to go yeah, wide, yeah, and now right, a nice Beth. hit and roll. Right over it. And your team's off to a great right start. Over, Kate Horn, part of that. 95 team Queen. of Kathy Borst Queen. that went to the final. However, yep. the second and third positions yep. have been changed since then. Great. Right. Good. Nice shot. We talk about shooting percentages and how a player plays, and we like to look at that to get an indication of their consistency over the course of the week. But it's really interesting to see how they play each game. Nice the matchups here are Please. very interesting nice because we Please. mentioned already at third how Please. strong Heather yeah. Godverson was, but how Kathy's Please. coming on. You're going to see the numbers pretty similar at seconds, well, but it's also well, fun well, to watch how they play against each yeah. other in a certain game. So we look at a plus minus, and you get a plus in any one game over the course Good of job. a week if you outscore your opposing lead, second, third, or skip by five percentage points or more. So let's take a quick comparison. At lead, Newfoundland has that edge. You had a, a little bit better performance over the course of those games. At second no. as well, yeah. let's remember, of course, five percent. It's a yeah. soft, otherwise, you get a minus if you're hey, outscored. Let it curl. Let it curl. So, at each position, we'll try and see who's playing the best. We already talked about Heather Godberson. Yeah, she's plus six, plus six, so she's six. had a it's wonderful incredible. week. Uh, and you know, and the other thing is, although, and you made the point with Ray when you're outside, is that Kathy Cunningham is coming on strongly. Yeah. This lady yeah. here struggled Please. a little bit in the final game oh against Prince Curry. Edward Island, Kathy Kerr. Curry. Curry. But again, Curry. They got away with it against PEI. Rebecca G. McPhee and the team from Charlottetown. Oh, just caught a corner enough to get it out. And she does, so she squeezes it up the side. But they got away with it against a PEI team that failed to take advantage of their chances. Control. And the other nice thing about Newfoundland when you watch them play, I've talked about how comfortable they are together. They've played together a while now. They're very used to each other. And you'll see them, if there's a mistake yep. made at one yep. position, really, the next person will pick it up. And that's what sometimes happens with these relationships amongst players. Alberta, well, you saw Brenda. She's a new let player to the team as well as Heather. Well, so they're a little less able to understand each other and to understand how important it is to pick up the pace, here, although they've done a great job this week to get here. Control. I think 
to simplify the whole thing, basically that kind of relationship grows over time too, Linda. And you have to have the combination of personalities and, and, and work them together. But, uh, you know, having not played together, as you mentioned, for before this year, I mean, when you have to talk about yeah. Kathy Cunningham and Laura Phillips, you're talking a number of years, a number of yeah. losses. Yeah. And you usually learn a lot more hurry, hurry, by your losses hurry. than you do by your wins. Hurry. Hurry. Kathy Cunningham. Okay. No uh, explanation required. That could be split on now. Mm -hmm. Down here with just a back T line weight, push this rock into the rings and try and roll the shooter over here to lie two. Heather Godverson. Yeah. Great way to get started if with last rock they can set up their two. One is in, does the other one spill into the top? Yes. Everyone hang on. Whoa. Too hard. That, there's a, for the viewers that have been with us all week, there's a, a tremendous example of that 12 that foot area good. and the lack of frost. <laughs> We're going to talk in detail about the dehumidifiers and what they've done. Really went fast. A tremendous job by the ice people here. This should be okay. This week. Yeah, earlier in the week, that would have hung on probably oh, on the sure. side of the car, but. So Kathy oh. Cunningham gets a little break Whoa. after a wide open miss. Whoa, clean. Whoa, clean. Whoa, whoa. Good rock, Kathy. You wanna go around it? You could hit this in. I don't feel curl up that much there. I like this better. Yep. yep. It didn't take long for her to find uh, employment. Whoa. In women's curling, did it right out of World Junior, and she hooks up with oh. Kathy Borst. Yeah, the rings are a lot livelier uh, today than they even were yesterday, Linda. But it's er it's er early in the game. <coughs> One of the things the coaches and sometimes the fifth players do before a game is just check to see if, in fact, the the rings are exactly. The right distance around, six feet from the pinhole, and this is the Alberta coach, Daryl Horn. Now at the T line, and he did it at both ends to find out, maybe tell his players. How are the rings? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And that was the indication from all the teams this week that the rings on all the sheets were, were perfect. And these stones uh, are just tremendous. Hans was telling me there's been, you know, even with the humidity and no sweating, the stones have been, aren't sweating at all. There are new stones, new inserts in the stones. The important thing about knowing if the rings are on, if you have a rock that's a biter, you have to decide if you're going to perhaps go for two or go for yep. a blank many times during a game. And it's okay, important easy, to know easy. if that really is a biter. Just here's good. And it's such Just a here. big help when the rings are true whoa, whoa, and you can make whoa. those decisions as a skip. Okay. Nice weight, Laura. Good yeah. shot. Just control. Little hand signal for the weight. Alberta uses the term control. Off and running as she so often does prior to her first stone. She has hammer here. Kathy Borst in this first, this quarterfinal. See, see Brenda threw a little more weight in the spot. Sanders Schmerler's numbers were the top amongst the skips and a little bit above everybody else. The rest of the skips were more bunched, so although you saw she's 11, Kathy's numbers weren't that much below others. Would you agree that she did not, she finished well with her last game, but at times appeared to be struggling. I agree. It was uh, both weight and on hits, and with Kathy in the past, we haven't seen those sorts of problems. Well, that was self-admitted. She, she, she said that herself. 
She just didn't pleasant played well. If I can get going, she said, up, hey? we'll be tough to Move beat, up, and she's right. Okay. But even in the BC game last night, the score, you know, uh, was a big score. It got to be lopsided, but, uh, you know, Kelly Owen had control of that game early until she gave up the big steal of four. And well, to the corner there. Unfortunately, removed her own it stone. Gives something to think about anyway, because that back one's tight enough to jam on it, so. So is there a place here that you might want to stick this stone, trying to pull them into something? Well, Laura's placing it over near the other stone that's just outside yeah, the house, mine. thinking that maybe there would be a jam if well, Alberta mishit it back Clean onto it. that red rock. Yeah. Also, when you're playing these kinds of yeah, shots, on, in this guys. case, you don't have this opportunity, but you start to think about the turns Easy. you want hey, your opponent only. to play. Whoa. In turn versus out Whoa. turn, wide shot versus closer yeah. to the center. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes! So every, everything has a plan. Nice. And if you're looking at the various turns that they play, I looked at this before the game, if you wanted to scout a team, you might want to make Kathy Boris play out turns. We saw her just hit and roll out with an out turn hit. Whereas look at the opposite for Laura Phillips. Uh, very strong in her out turns and does prefer those turns. So if they have an opportunity later to bury rocks, they might show the side more that normal. favors them right. and not the opponent. Is there a particular turn, Victor, that you prefer over the other? I mean, are you an out-turn thrower or an in-turn thrower? Or well, just Gord a Smith, bad thrower? Well, Gorge Smith just says get a turn on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's throwing here. She's throwing an out-turn to avoid the jam. So this might uh, favor then Newfoundland. Yep. The chance is better that she might yep. miss that's, this. That's a possibility. Yeah. Yep. Three! She avoids the jam, but she's forced to take one. Alberta will give up hammer. They have the early lead in this quarterfinal. The winner moves on. The loser is out here in Vancouver. Hi, folks. Nice to see you. Hope you can join us for the next edition of Sports Desk. That's at 6.30 Eastern, Tom, or whenever the curling is over. It's been working out pretty close to that. We'll uh, monitor several situations for you in the NHL injuries. And the Pittsburgh Penguins thought that Yarmer Yager was healthy, but apparently the answer is not. He returned last night from an injured groin, and he collided with Vladimir Konstantinov, went down, re-aggravated the groin injury that caused to miss him the uh, previous three games. Yager leads the NHL with 45 goals, second with 87 points. And uh, the situation is this. At first, they were talking a couple of games. Now the Penguins are saying that he could be out for as long as a month. That'll be monitored day to day. Same thing for Matthew Schneider, the Maple Leafs believe that he is likely gone for the rest of the season also with a groin injury a suspension and lots more news that sports desk 6:30 Eastern or right after the curling Purex has gone to great lengths to give you a longer lasting bathroom tissue Purex Double Roll. With twice as many pillowy soft sheets on every roll, it takes forever to run out. Purex Double Roll. Pillowy softness that lasts twice as long. As Ray mentioned, the big story all week, the humidity and now the dehumidifiers donated by Cromwell Restoration to the championship. And they've worked well, as we hear now from Hans Wutrich, the head ice maker. Hi, I'm here with uh, Peter, he's our Honeywell uh, man. We have our Honeywell system. You know we had a lot of humidity problems this week in our building and uh, this system helps us control uh, ice temperatures, air temperatures, and as well humidity, which is the big point right here on ice humidity. We had 68% as you see right now. Peter has some graphs for us that he uh, has worked on and uh, I'm gonna show you right here how by um, Tuesday night, when we had all the complaints about the high humidity, we were up in 85% humidity range. Here, we, the good people from Cromwell brought us in a bunch of dehumidifiers that we set up. And you can see on Wednesday, from there on, our humidity drops drastically, and which is improving our ice a great deal. 
The players like the conditions much better and you can see it made a big, big difference in the playing conditions. It's really, in <coughs> excuse me, it's really interesting, uh, Vic, that uh, uh, Peter Wielek of uh, Honeywell was telling me that uh, uh, they'll have that equipment. It probably will be standard now at all of these events. They'll have that equipment in Calgary, uh, so they'll be monitoring the ice. They may not have a, as much of a humidity problem there, but the whole point is that they, they with the um, ability to be able to uh, keep a, a monitored uh, record of the temperature, ice temperature, yep. and the air temperature, you Please. can regulate it. It's interesting. The, the computer Please. is... Uh, is uh, can along Please. electronically do all that but hans likes to do it manually just to make sure that he's My on girl. top of it so he controls the uh, computer and it's made tremendous difference you can see today in particular they also by the way that they they did melt as well this did morning. They do? yeah they yep. melted it down to get what frost was there right out of the out of the ice system it's the second end of this opening quarter final alberta newfoundland the team from edmonton yeah. opened with a single yeah. Team now from the St. John's no, Curling no, no, no. Club has Three. last rock, and this is their lead. Three. Heather Martin. Well, Newfoundland got Three. what they wanted out of Three. the first hand. They made Three. Kathy Boris take the stay for one. At least they, they hope Heather. she did. She wasn't able to blank. And now they're not going to take any big chances this end. Alberta brought the first stone in, and so we're ex seeing exchange of hits. But Newfoundland will try to take the opportunity if they can blank this end, probably to generate some offense next end. Yeah. Vic, just because uh, it's, it's an up and down the sheet, I want to ask you, what is uh, Swiss Lundager? Well, it's the it's it's Lundager, and I guess it would be oh, sorry. It's a, it's like a dried uh, it's dried beef. It's almost uh, not quite as dry as a beef jerky, but that's, that's but it's along the lines of a beef jerky, and it's wonderful when you go when you go walking or hiking to have some cheese and Lundager and bread and a glass of wine, red Fight preferably. It. It's a uh, and a little <laughs> yodeling. And yeah, a little yodeling yeah, and wearing a little later hosen, and that's yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> he really is a little Swiss man, isn't he? <laughs> He's looking forward to those world championships. Yeah. Kathy oh. Kerr. Our first Ford email for you from Carlos Ronchero of Cambridge, Ontario. I'm 17 years old, just recently became a huge curling oh, fan. No. Am I too old to begin to oh. learn how to play? Goodness, no, Carlos. You've got a great lots of years. You can play this game uh, all your life, and this is a wonderful time for okay, you to start right. to play. Uh, you know, it's, it's a great game. You can certainly uh, work on it hard and become a competitive player, try and get hooked up, uh, uh, join a club, hook up with some people your own age and go to work on it. You can play it all your life, and by all no means, we all know the answer to that Laura? question for sure, and that's no. Yeah. Vic just yeah, started just to play a couple years ago. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. And now look at him. And mm -hmm. he's in his mid-something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Laura! Second stones Laura! here, second end. Normal! Three! Three! Clean <laughs> good. That's good, Kathy. Okay, nice Carlos, if you can't find a curling club in your local telephone book, Canadian Curling Association has a number for you, 1-800-550-CURL. That's 2875. Phone them. Tell them that you're looking for a club in your area. They'll help you find it, and you can no, discover no, curling. No, uh, Heather Godferson. Right Whoa, right off. No, 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 no. One of the beautiful no. things, too, about the game Linda, is you don't have to lay out a whole bunch of money to, to, to get yourself introduced to this sport. You know, you, a pair of shoes and a, a pair of uh, sweatpants and a brush, and, yeah. and uh, you, you call a number, they'll send you to the right club, you'll get some instruction, and which is a good idea. I think everybody starting the game should have some form of instruction. We saw an example of that last night, of course. Whoa. When we were out with the crew, Clean. That's curling, right. that instruction Whoa. is fairly important. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Up and down the sheet here in this second end, Alberta leading 1-0. As Linda says, all the attention at the Agridome. 
is on the one sheet. Nothing else going on. Just four teams remaining now. And without the rock thrown out in front in the beginning of the end, the lead stones, uh, and the teams have the ability then to, of course, just hit and remove. And that uh, lends to an end of this nature. Because to, to wait for a wide open takeout is something you may wait for 10 amps to right. see. Kathy Cunningham has missed one. Down. And Heather Robertson just missed the split, so uh, we really haven't had any offense at all generated. It's good. Same way? Yeah. If you're wondering about the stones at all, the teams are allowed to pick their stones for these playoffs. It goes in order of ranking Whoa. as far as how you finish. Saskatchewan no. choosing Clean. first, then Ontario, then Alberta, Clean. then Newfoundland. Alberta chose yeah. the red stones from sheet A. Whoa. Newfoundland yeah. chose the yellow Whoa. stones from Whoa. sheet C. They don't must touch, pick an entire no. set, but they can pick either don't color, and then color handles can be exchanged. If they wanted both to have a red set, they would have exchanged the handles, so Newfoundland ended up with a yellow set. Yep. So they get uh, a wide choice to pick the stones that they want to play with. Nice. Sorry, so you said Newfoundland picked actually a yellow set of stones, did they? They did, but so they didn't have to. They didn't have to, but the point is that we didn't we see throughout the week that red seemed to have the advantage in terms of win loss. The only thing you have to remember that hammer is pre assigned to the red stones, and there is a slight advantage over the course of the event for a team with last rock to win. So you are skewing the data a little bit on stone color based on who gets last rock in the first end. So it was a slight advantage, but probably not statistically enough to worry about. Clean. Yep. Yep. Playing the wide shot Whoa. here. It doesn't look like there's any problem being out there with weight or line. Good shot. Going back to uh, Carlos's questions, you know, there are provincial championships, uh, national championships at all age levels, uh, uh, starting with the juniors and, of course, uh, the Scott Turner Hearts and the Briar, and then it moves on to the seniors. There's mixed national championships. There's a Masters National Championship. Actually, the BC uh, Masters Provincial Curling Playdowns are being held right now at, uh, at the Langley Curling Club here in BC. Yep. Hurry. So, Carlos. Yeah. You're 17, you can play hurry, for hurry. about uh, 60 hurry. years. Hurry, 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 hurry. Got a piece? It's yes. Good Down. Can't hold the shooter. Well, Canada's final road to France 98 begins with its opening game of World Cup qualifying from the Azteca Stadium. Graham Leggett and I will have the call for you 3 3 30 p.m. Sunday afternoon. Dick Howard will be in Mexico City reporting to us. So join us World Cup qualifying soccer Canada to Mexico Sunday afternoon. Fourteen and a half. Just have to be careful not to call them out turns and interns once you start doing that after right. eight days here Vic. Yeah. That is the outturn. For Kathy Borst, her final stone Easy. here in the second, yeah. leading 1 nothing. And great mechanics on all eight players. Uh, very true to the stick, coming right at us. Nice chance for Kathy to get a feel for draw weight here. As a skip, that's very important early in the game. You prefer not to have to play all takeouts. No. No what? Just no. <laughs> <laughs> Just a plain simple no. Like you don't have to go into any detail. <laughs> uh, I, I'm but. so used to saying that to intern and outturn. I just it's a reflex now. I say no. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. <laughs> Gosh. It just slides out. 
Final stone looking to yes. blank here. Newfoundland's Hurry. Laura Phillips. Playing her favorite out Hurry. turn, trying to get the rollout. Heather Martin, Whoa. Kathy Kerr, the Whoa. brushers. It's Kerr closest to the stone. She oh, burned sure. one yesterday. Okay, now they'll sit there. right okay, there, Laura. too. One sat right there, says Kathy Cunningham. <laughs> and so both teams forced to take one with Hammer. It's 1-1 one, one as we go to the third. Over. Alberta has the last rock back. That's good. Yeah, I thought I rolled it over. So I Fast relief from the pain of heartburn is why Maalox is the most trusted choice of pharmacists in Canada. Hello? Hello? Are you in there? Oh, <laughs> ever wonder how some mechanics can quote you a package price on brakes without even seeing your car? Well, at Midas, the technicians aren't psychic. They always do a free written inspection first. And the price they quote is the price you pay. It's guaranteed. Just like the work. Midas, the way it should be. I see millions of people driving to Midas. Let me understand this. If I'm in the middle of shooting, and you yell car, then the goal doesn't count. That's the rule. But I already took the shot. It doesn't matter. But I already took the shot. That's the rule. I didn't make it up. So what do you think, in the NHL they yell car? Real goalies don't yell car. What? I can't believe you finished them. I'm sorry, buddy. That's the rules. I didn't make them up. <laughs> Kellogg's Frosted Flake Cereal for kids of all ages. They're great. Dad, did you have any friends when you were a kid? Yeah. It'd be so good to see you smile the smile you wear. You shoot the breeze as if we never had a care. It'd be so great to hear your laughter coming through. You know it's the least I can do Fast relief from the pain of heartburn is why Maalox is the most trusted choice of pharmacists in Canada. Here's this quarterfinal CIBC brain teaser. Prior to Kathy Borst in 95, who was the last Alberta skip to make it to the Scott Tournament of Hearts final? And that's the trophy. And will the names of Kathy Borst's team or Laura Phillips' team be on it this year? The winner still has a chance. The loser. We'll have to wait to play another day, possibly. Another nice first stone, well positioned, very close to the house. Kate's going to go around it. Caddy Boris has decided this time it's just a little further out. It's a perfect spot. Uh, you put it there for a reason to try and entice some offense, and that's what you're going to get. Caddy Boris is going to go around this stone now. It's about a foot in front of the ring. Mine's good. Way too close. Kate Horn's husband, Daryl, is the coach of this team and the gentleman that we saw Line. measuring the rings Line's earlier. Good. Line's good. Lots of room. Kate works for Emco okay, Distributing. Go now. Go now. Free. Free. There's your four foot feet of movement, Linda. So now it's all about position. Who can get the best position, control the front of the four-foot area? The control zone, I like to call it. Heather Martin is a former Newfoundland mixed champion. She works for the Royal Bank. Yeah, line. What do you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just there. Line only. Whoa. Yeah. It's fun when the ice moves. It's just fun. It's fun to watch. I mean, it's pretty important. 
But fun to play because, too, though. You know, I mean, no question. Uh, I mean, from a spectator's point of view, from a, I mean, the, the uh, that's why nice the, the Shorty Jenkins and the Hans Vujicic and Lloyd Stanzels and people like that uh, are really spending a lot of time, you know, trying to to, to learn all the aspects. I mean, Shorty, is, as we all know, is uh, uh, as knowledgeable as anybody in the game about stones and uh, and uh, ice surfaces, pebbling in particular. Hans has uh, taken a lot of that knowledge, and got a lot of knowledge from him, added his own variations. And the ice people across the country are just getting better and better and giving the surfaces like that. And if we get the surfaces that are consistent, and that's the key word as far as I'm concerned, you want it to do the same thing each time. Yes, you want swing in it, otherwise you can't execute Columbia. offense. Yellow, yellow, yellow. They wanted that redstone to be a little bit behind the yeah. yellow guard so that this wasn't there. Give me this kind of weight, Cap. Yeah. Just back line back weight, she's indicated. That one onto that one, onto the red one, and move it so back into that area. Is that back eight? Yeah. Yeah. Just taking, holding the uh, brush just outside the edge of the forefoot for Kathy Kerr is going to throw back Whoa, eight just foot weight. Back eight weight. No. Try and get the bump bump. This former Newfoundland Junior Champion works for the Public Service Commission. Little chip. Take little the roll, more, Heather. A little more weight and it just didn't curl. Okay. okay. That's, good. that's good shot, Kathy. Split them both on. Right here. This is okay. Yes. Alberta with shot rock, but second, third, and fourth belong to Newfoundland. Kathy, horse with Brenda. last rock. Hurry for line. Brenda Bomer, who Excuse is me. employed Hurry by the, the city of Beaumont. We're on the front. Southwest whoa, whoa, of the city whoa. of Edmonton. How far can you bounce it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Okay. This is nice. Well, it looks like uh, Newfoundland yeah. has second, third, and fourth shots. It looks like the that's yellow uh, one top 12. 12 is on. By 12, you think, Heather? Yeah, so Laura's on. trying to set something up so eventually she can tap onto Shotstone and really put the pressure on Alberta. Draw to the forefoot. Where is it? Top eight. Help! Line! Line only! Three. Line! Yeah! Three. But the amount of swing in the ice and the trouble they're having at the moment, it may be the one team that can find that exact spot to put the broom and get just like by, like we've seen in some of the past ends, and not make back. those ticks as we have seen in this end that wins. Hit this here, and cross onto that one. Double. Yeah, that's what she's talking about. What's that? That looks like a good call to me. We shouldn't. Should just be sitting right here. What Heather's saying is, will it pop out into the open there? It could. Even if you hit and roll, that's okay too. It's control. Trying to get one in the same position. Interesting uh, lineup of rocks there. Kathy's going to come down and have a look. That's what Kathy mentioned when she was sitting in the hat. My only concern is that if we come around and sit or get close to that yellow one, she's got to double to get them out of there. Okay. Oh, 
Not that I know what else to do, because I don't. You heard what Kathy said, you know, if we sit in, if we sit in here someplace, uh, we might give her really a, wanna leave it back, back a double. Four either, you know, like, yeah, so no. that it's, one. it's just gotta be well, there, I mean, right there top, on the line. Even top 12 is not bad, But that sets up the double, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's tough though, I guess, isn't it? Bump, bump over here, but I, I think we'll come this way. Yeah. She's gonna come right in, I think. I'm ugh, worried about that double. But it's tough. Corner on the, f the red one that's in the forefoot. Top 12 is okay. Top eight is not. No, top so eight, the, so the top double, eight sets up a double. So the double isn't that great a concern, is it? I mean, it's... It's a big concern, and that's why they're saying to the sweepers, it's now your rock. Don't leave it in the eight foot. It's okay if it's tight to the house or 12 foot, and it's okay if it's right up to the red one, but you can't yeah. leave it beside oh, yeah. the, our other Where's stone. It? In her seventh appearance at a national championship, Kathy Cunningham, yeah. Yeah. who is the manager of Harvey's Travel. Three. Where is it? Three. Three. Yeah. Is just going to bounce oh. out, though. Okay. He had to sweep it through the line, and that meant it had a little bit too much weight and bounced into the open. It allows Kathy to come down now and hit this and get the Wanna roll in behind. To lie two. Mm -hmm. And Alberta does have hammer here in three of a one-one time. Wait, do you like here? Okay. You don't want to hit this in the nose, though, Linda. No, you'll set up some other things for your opponent. These rolls are really tough, too. With the big swing, you have to anticipate it, but the extra weight will make it run that much yep. straighter. Yep. Heather Godverson on the first stone for Whoa. the Alberta Whoa. third. Whoa, it's got a curl. No, no. Curl, curl, curl. OK. Nothing, it sits right there. There it is. Just control weight, guys. <clears throat> what did you want to do here? A little over a bit. Just sit beside it. She, she can get the. She can get a little roll to the end to the button. No. Clean. 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 So close. That's what's so hard. It's that extra weight makes it run that much straighter, and you keep thinking yeah. it's going to break, and it yeah. just doesn't. That wasn't far off, though, was it, Linda? You know, no. that throws another quarter of an inch, and she and if, and if moves that red over. over a bit either. Yep. You heard Kathy Bors say, even if you just clip the red one a little bit and move it over, that'll be fine. Yep. To do that, the uh, run back yep. on the center line rocks are better as well. Thinking ahead. Heather in her fourth year of phys ed at the University of Alberta in Edmonton. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. If you can get the double, it's an easier double now. You just hit this rock here on the outside, driving it onto this stone here. Removing that. The stone you hit will go out this way, and the shooter should roll over here someplace. We catch the outside of the stone. Stones here in three, and the first yeah. from Newfoundland's Laura Phillips. Yeah, yeah. Try to catch the outside. Hurry. 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 Trying to hold it up if they can. 
Kathy Kerr, Heather Martin, get them both. Yes. Kathy Cunningham trying to drag it out. One more turn, it'll hang on to the 12. Almost had to too long, Linda. That was almost a uh, rushing call. Or... Judy. Just about left it too long. Nice Kathy got them on it just in time. Believe me, just catches the rock that was buried. Just off there and go on to there. Well, it looked like Laura might have been a tiny bit okay. outside, so they waited and waited, and then once it started to curl, it really went. Which turn do you like here? Good shot. Alberta's still in a, not in a bad position. Well, we know it better anyways. It's got to go across the face. Got to hit half then, half. Okay, right on the edge. Hit this one, come across the face of this one, mm -hmm. hitting it onto this one, which will remove the yellow one. Just want to hit this, half on the This red one here will go this. here. Yeah. Yep. And the one you're raising will go a little bit to the other side. Wanting to come across the face of this now. This has been a fun end. She already has a Canadian Junior Please. Championship yes. to her credit. Yes. One in 1978, yes. Kathy Borst. Yes. Yes. Now, how far did it go? Trying to drag it to. Close at the back, well, shot stone is still yellow. Yeah, set up second and third, but shot is still Newfoundland. Kathy. Kathy's got to get another stone in here, that's for sure, as you can see that. We could do this. Got... Yeah. You could draw here. It's got this one here, hitting that. Rolling over here. This is the shot rock right here. She could draw in the light too. Just got to make sure that you what? Get it past this one. Don't leave Alberta the double. So you got to get it back behind the T line. Lie two. Like say, looks like it might be red. So red are sitting second, third, and fourth shot. Well, I think. Think about, well, I think if we do that, we got to come back here. It's the, fir it's the first shot rock. It's yeah. the second. It's the third. And over here, this is the fourth. Beating out that one. I'm trying to draw around, but we set up a double there. She's playing the hit she's, as opposed to the draw. She said, I just don't want to. Set up a double. Just looking to get a little flop your way, Heather. Well, the other thing is they haven't made the come arounds on the draws very well, and if you ever tick that red one, you'd be in big trouble. Mm -hmm. Well, Laura works for Newtel Information 12. Systems. Twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Jam at the luck. back. Oh, they got it by. Does a job. Yeah, they could hit this rock on the nose, and we'll see. Uh... Gee, did that come up fast? Yeah, quick, this one here onto this, it's onto that one, which will remove right? it. Just control. The shot rock. And then what remains, we've seen uh, who will be second shot. Roll, Just an inside two. roll, and then she'll be Control line two. Eight. Just touch off the center on the outside, center line side. Careful, bump on my this? back up here, guys. Okay. She can lie two. In a one-one tie, final stone of the end. Alberta's Kathy Bors oh, looking to. Score a pair here, right out of her hand. Brenda Bomer closes to the stone. Kate Horn out in front. 
The front end of this Alberta championship team trying to hold it. Trying to hold it. Looks good. Inside roll. They've got it. Alberta picks up the deuce. Takes the 3-1 lead over Newfoundland. Hi, girl. When the Hendricks team switched to Quaker State this year, I was talking with my crew chief about it, and he said they ran through all these tests. The dyno, the camshaft test, and the stuff beats all their standards. So I said, but don't forget, we won eight races with last year's oil. And he said, yeah, but don't you forget, we also lost 24. Tough crowd. Thank Get your you own special Quaker State NHL Cool Collectibles catalog when you buy your case of Quaker State Motor Oil, the official motor oil sponsor of the NHL. first glance, this set of brakes looks like most other brakes, except for one important feature. Only UAP Napa brakes meet the top quality standards of UAP Napa. UAP Napa, the right brand for the job. The pain of arthritis and joint stiffness can get the better of many people. So today, there's coated extra strength aspirin with the power to relieve your worst pain right where it hurts. Aspirin, it really knows your pain. A brand new beautiful Ford Contour goes to the winner of this year's Ford Hot Shots here in Vancouver. All the players eligible for the Contour or two Canadian Airlines tickets or maybe a Nokia phone. It's a skills competition, six different shots with points awarded on how you do. The final came down to Saskatchewan's Jan Betker, who was already thinking about how she might take that Contour through the mountains. But in the end, it was Vancouver's Sherry Fraser, the BC second, made the double and left her stone on the button. Sherry Fraser, she's the contour winner. She's the hot shot. Sherry, on behalf of Ford Motor Company, I'd like to present you the keys to your 1998 contour. It gives me great pleasure to give the uh, local hot shot uh, the keys to what's going to be the hottest new car in Canada this year. Thanks again on a, on a great competition and a great shot to win the competition. Thank you very much. Sherry Fraser, she's hot. Welcome back to the Agrodome and TSN's continuing coverage. Quarterfinal day of this 97 Scott Tournament of Hearts. Just four teams remain in contention. And that two by Alberta the third puts them in front 3-1. The Newfoundland lead. Fast on it. Heather Martin just and the team from St. John's what? Curly Club has hammered. Well, a nice uh, double take. Uh, down raise uh, oh, take for two. Uh, Linda. Yeah. Laura had a tough decision to make, to be honest. I mean, well, I know, she could have drawn line, in the line to him and, yeah. and got it back to the yeah, T line. Right and right there's no double. Right and Kathy would have had to draw for one. She obviously didn't feel that she could uh, do that. So this is one of the tendencies you see with uh, Laura Phillips as opposed to Kathy Borst and some of the other teams. Uh, as an offensive employee, she'll play the the freeze like that as, as opposed to throwing the rock into the into the free guard zone area, the corner guard. And Heather has been playing so well. Remember, four games in a row in the 90% range, and now both of them at 100%. Yeah, so again, five. about positioning. And the last game was another one where they had the lineup of stones, Three. and it's the position of one She's in front of the other, the Three. angles they take that mean whether your stone can be five promoted nine. or the opponent's is left in good position. No, nothing yet. Nothing. No, no. Right here. Whoa. No. The chance for two and Borst and Alberta made it. Well, she threw a beautiful intern. She thought it might go a little straight, and I think maybe a tiny bit inside on release, but the sweepers held it perfectly. And you could see it didn't take any big swing. Caught the center line side of the raised stone, and there's two. So that's how we sit three to one, Alberta leading Newfoundland here in the fourth. Three. Uh, whoa. Okay, good shot. Good, right here. 
Brenda Bomer with the edge so far through three on Kathy Kerr. I'm very impressed with Brenda's sweeping as well. Very strong player, a strong addition at yep. second for Kathy Borst. It's very something you see uh, thrower her uh, uh, in these events are very few throws three, anymore three, throw three, with three. the glove on, but Brenda is one that does. She throws with her glove okay. on, a good tight fitting glove. But she doesn't take it off. Most of the players will throw with their bare hand now. You hit this. Flop to here. Oh, tough shot. Control. Kathy Cunningham isn't quite sure. She'd like to roll to the outside here a little bit. This is a tough, tight shot. Normal. Oh. Needs to come over. A lot of weight. Get back. Too. Okay, Kath. She had several misses yesterday too. The. Uh, you don't want to play a slam? Mm -hmm. You don't want to play the Just slam? Just tap this a bit. We'll be back with you at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Six Pacific, one against two. The winner through to the final. The loser will play the winner of this game in the semifinal tomorrow. Schmirler against scoring. Saskatchewan against Ontario. Just talking about it. She asked her to tap this one back. Yeah, Heather disagreed, and Heather's coming down. Okay. That's what they're talking about. I suppose because they can't get shot off it if they hit yeah, it. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. It's it's back far enough. What do you want to guard? Which side of it? Right in the middle. Yeah. Probably guard this side. Okay. <clears throat> Decided to guard it. I don't know if I'd be guarding this. Brenda Bomer, Whoa. why is that? Whoa. Well, you got the two point lead. I, I'm leery about those guards in this situation, and I think maybe. Just uh, have. You could tap it back to the back of the forefoot, get a little separation on the yellow stone. Yeah, I might as well bump it. Yep. Yeah, bump's good. Okay. It didn't, uh, it didn't get the guard, so. Play hit and roll on that. The top one. Laura, we hit the top one, roll to the wings. Yeah. Yeah. That's a shot. It's control, Kat. Yeah. Hit the drop one. Mm-hmm. And roll over, drive it back onto that one. Yeah. Trying to work away slowly at getting rid of the ones in the forefoot and setting up theirs. Kathy Kerr. Nice rock. Nice shot. Yes, it is. It's very good. Good. And the battle we talked about before the game. What an edge for Heather nice. at the moment. Stones are lined up pretty nicely on those two red ones. Kathy going to try and get a guard up there. With Heather Godberson's first first third stone Whoa. here in four. Whoa! Have to make sure it gets to it's center halfway. line because those yellow ones can be raised up. Got lots of curling to do. Where is it? Fine. 
Fine. A little bit of a zigzag of rocks. If you can still see half of the uh, top yellow one. That is if we hit the top now. If you can see half of this, you'd have to, she'd lose the shooter. Shoot this one here. Drive it onto this one. You can only see half of it though. We're right okay. behind the sheet, so it's a very tough shot. That's what we see in the yellow. The red is going this yeah. way. Yeah. And if we don't, we peel the red, right? Yeah. Okay. And if you don't get that, you peel this one. Try and catch what we can see of the yellow. If not, we peel the red. Just, Just control. Okay. Yep. Playing the yellow stone onto the red. <laughs> Kathy Cunningham. Say the shooter. Good. She had to free some things up. The yellow one that was just thrown is uh -huh. open now, and Heather can hit and roll, but it's about all Newfoundland had. Control. Kathy Boris has to roll away from that spot now, otherwise, she'll leave the double. No. Heather Gutterson in her yep. second. Hurry! Hurry for nine! Hurry! Hurry! Whoa! Whoa! Roll away. Okay. Still there. Yep. Good chance to hit this stone here. We're moving it, obviously. Coming right across onto this one. The yellow one will push that one out of the Three rings. Turn. This is, is this gonna curl? Normal. No, it'll run straight. So the one high spot on the ice. Whoa! No. Oh, no. Okay, run yeah. straight? Yeah. That, that spot is going to run straight. You knew that going in. And don't forget, that's not the favorite turn of Kathy Cunningham. Right. On that shot. Okay. Excuse me. On that shot, to Vic, uh, uh, with that weight, you could take it right on the edge of the rock, right on the side of the rock. And there it is, Kathy Cunningham, so far anyways, during the week has favored her outturns, has thrown them a little bit better. Heather Godperson, you don't see that difference in her takeouts. What? What? Doubles, yeah, okay. Looks like you guys are flying out of the hack with those guards. So they have to guard the center line side of the red stone that's half 12, no, half okay. eight foot. Oh yeah, we're throwing like 16, aren't we? Like for guards. 16 seconds they're referring to between the hog lines for a guard. That means it's very fast down this four foot path. She could also play the hit on the front red one and run it straight back. Getting rid of the yellow one. Kathy Borst oh. in the first stone for the oh. Alberta skip. Newfoundland Coming does down. have hammer trailing three to one. Talking about it being too heavy, that means that it's not the 16 no. seconds they talked about. Leave it high. It's definitely not. Sit. Ah. 
if you play. A couple of options. Back 12. Come down here like this. Mm -hmm. Here. Push yeah. that, that one there. You also have this little and rub. And roll into here. Out there. That again for you. It's back 12, eh? Yeah. Back 12 foot weight, moving that rock there. And try to roll the shooter over here. Just back 12. The numbers through three for Borst and Phillips. No, that should just sit right there. Back ring weight. Just a weight shot. Now this turn will move. It'll come big close, time. Close. All no, depends. Close. All depends yeah. on the weight. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, no, yeah. No. Whoa, whoa. Now. And that's what they did. Well called by Kathy Great Cunningham. Job. And Kathy talked about that when uh, Laura went down. She said, if it stays a little bit, we make it a little quick, and she got it. <laughs> Sean, a little tick tick, right? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God, I nearly hit heart failure. I thought we were going right through the hole. I, did I didn't think there was a hole there, but it oh, looked I, like there was oh, pretty I big. There was a hole there. there. There was a hole there. I was like, oh no. I thought I, I thought I thought I blew it on you. I really did. Oh, to no, lie I just too. Couldn't believe it. Anyway, good shot. Good shot. And the problem with the guard that uh, Kathy Boris was trying to throw when it came in that deep and overlapped the other stone, the raises are more difficult. I'm gonna catch it real thin though. I think that's gonna go on that one. She's talking about a thin double on this here, but what she's worried about is hitting it onto this one. Okay. Yeah. She's gonna run this one back. I, I think if you go back a couple of shots that she maybe should have done that the first time, but that's what shot. I, I don't I make, about. I make jam it on our own yeah. now. Run this back here. <sighs> I like a little more ice. We're further apart yep. now. A little bit further apart. Control. Oh. No. Final stone for Alberta yeah. and Kathy Borst. Yeah. Facing two. Yeah. Trying to run it straight back. One, two, not quite. It'll leave a draw for two. It's been a fun end. Nice end. That's going to be. It curled up, eh? It curled a little more than she thought it would. Wanted to hit it a little more on this side, away from center line. Full eight is what Laura Phillips will need to tie it here in four. I don't know how much slower we can come out on those draws. <laughs> don't fall over. Must be really fast to know. Very, very quick today. Laura's drawing to the side where there's the two red stones. You don't want to think about backing, but just playing down to that area. Whoa. Easy. Easy. Whoa, Heather. Whoa. Okay, line's okay. No line. No, no backing. It's on its own. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, Heather, no. No. Sit down. No. Stop. Stop. Candy Bush just said how quick it was. Okay. One yellow. That's quick. And Newfoundland oh, okay. misses the opportunity to tie it. We'll settle for one. Alberta yep. holds on to the lead and they get the hammer back.
3-2, Alberta leading in this quarterfinal. Heather Martin and Kate Horn in the leads. For Newfoundland, Kathy Kerr. Or for Alberta, Brenda Bomer, the seconds here in this quarterfinal in Vancouver. You can feel the cottony softness, cottonelle. Feel the cottony softness, cottonelle. It's no surprise that Canada exports so much when you consider how much Canadians have to offer the world. That's why since 1990, Ford of Canada has invested some $4 billion in this country and its future so that we can build vehicles right here, not only for the roads of Canada, but also for the roads of the world as well. Ford and Canada, same road, right direction. At Maple Leaf, when we reduced the fat in our new lean and light wieners and bologna, we tested the taste with families just like yours. We found we could reduce the fat by 60%, and lean and light would still have that mouth-watering Maple Leaf taste. Any less fat? Well then, we'd appeal to only some members of the family. The uncompromised great taste of new Maple Leaf lean and light. Taste that's a cut above. Maybe you think only those fast lane types need a Nokia cellular phone. Bill, Bob, I'm running late. Well, now Nokia's making cellular phones so easy. So, uh, cover for me during finger paints? They're practically child's play. Hey, it's science day! With Nokia's big screens, easy to find names and numbers, and sleek designs. Coach, could you handle sandbox for me? I'm like in a four-lane parking lot. We're talking rest period before I get there. Oh, I forgot my show and tell. So now we can all be in the fast lane. Nokia, Europe's leading cellular phone, also made in America. Connecting people. The championship trophy will be presented on Sunday. One of these teams still has an opportunity to win it. The 97 Scott Tournament of Hearts here at the Agrodome in Vancouver. It's been a wonderful week. These people have obviously had a great time. And also up in that section, the uh, host, the host committee, the host club for the Newfoundland team is your old yep. club, yep. the nice. North Vancouver Recreation Center, the curling Hooray. club there, and Phyllis Langman is the uh, Chairman of the host committee, Phyllis, an old friend, and was that were you won uh, the okay. championship? You were there at that time. Yes, we uh, that year we Lighting. represented the rec center, and we've also represented the North Shore Lighting. Winter Club, both of them in North Vancouver. It's a great group of people over there. Now that's a big Talk miss on a good. come around. The first one comes short, and uh, an opportunity to get around. And now Heather has the chance to get there first. Whoa. Oh, cool over here, Kat. Wait only. No line. Heather yeah, Martin. Comes now. Yep. Yep, yep, well, we yep. talk about opportunities now. It's an opportunity for Laura Phelps to tie oh, this game to. up. You miss a draw. Nice. The ice is pretty quick. Line. And there's no line. frost at all yep, out there. Line, so they just keep sliding. All the way. Hurry. Hurry. You may see a little rough frost creep in as we move along in this game. You want. Kind of adjustments, Linda, do they have to make now because the ice is so quick? Where does the where is the adjustment made? Well, it's the leg drive. They have to get it into their head that uh, you just have to Three push off a on little bit less here. on those and give them to the sweepers. Normal. Ray, you've always said that that should be something that a curler at this level, the elite curler, really shouldn't have. A problem doing. Whoa. Well, you, Whoa. you work hard on your different speeds, and the ability to be able to relate no. to how fast you're coming no, from the no, hack no, no, no. is your ability to be able no. to draw and, and, and feel the different weights. If you can't feel the weights, there's all kinds of guys, men and women, that can throw the rock, but they never become critters for that very reason, because they don't have a good feeling of how fast they're coming from the hack, and as a result, they're not consistent with their various weights when asked to, to, to give the various weights. It's four, bud. It's 12, 12 is okay. Can be a thrower okay. and a nice thrower, but there's a 
Another big step to become a curler. Kathy Kerr is. Alberta good. gets rid of one of their own. Oh, fine only. But two Yellowstones oh, remain in front. Out. Is Kathy Borst no, overstating okay. the quickness it. when she says she almost falls down? It's coming back, Laura. Back. Yeah. Back. Can you back move that slowly? Or that just no, back it's not hurry. that fast. Okay, she's well, just being a little bit funny that she's having trouble with it. Kathy Kerr to the back of the four. A little deep. It's three quarters of this one, then. Trying to get the front off, drive it back, get both yellow stones out of there. Now we better play normal so we can roll it off a bit more. Brenda Bomer no. and Heather no. Godfordson. The Please. newcomers to this yep. Yep. Alberta yep. team. Yep. Hurry! Hard! Hurry! That's a good shot. She'll leave the shooter covering that stone back four. I think she was playing that on the broom side and it really curled up. So that is the one spot they're struggling with, with the rocks over curling. So this is a good opportunity for Laura Phillips to get around the guard, top of the middle of the eight foot, top of the four foot. There's lots of movement here. They'll finish for you. the same, eh? Line. Okay. Whoa, right off. It's Wait, gonna need a little bit. Whoa. Say when. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Hurry. 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 Oh, Hurry. geez, Heather. Hurry. All the way hard. Hurry. Come on, hard. Hurry. Kathy All Cunningham way, pulls this a stone. Heather Martin trying to drag it, and they won't get it there. Just had to judge a little earlier and get on it a little earlier. It was smart side for Kathy. She was a little bit light, but she did give it to the sweepers. We talked about that all week, but the ability of the brushers, uh, that, you know, that rock was thrown very, very well. You just have to anticipate that uh, the weight and read the weight a little better than that. Get on the brushing a little bit earlier. Mine's good. Whoa. Where is it? Too good, Kath. Nice way. Brenda Bomer. Nice yeah, she's oh, here it comes. They're saying a little bit heavy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay. 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 Over back here is not bad. Yeah. Just throw it there, guys. It's up to you then, okay? Four and a half. Your comment. I'll throw it there. Well, right on. It's good too, Kath. Yeah. Oh, I think it's there. Clean it. Clean it. Clean. Clean it. Clean it. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Right no. Let it come, Clean. Kath. Clean. Whoa. Whoa. No, no. Oh. Get over. Alberta leads 3-2. Here is, and we play this fifth, then Alberta does have hammer. It's definitely not the end Alberta wanted get to get to the into. Of this. Back four. With the one-point lead in the hammer, Alberta didn't mind trying to come around once, but when it wasn't there, they didn't want to keep getting at this position where they have to continually follow the opponent down. Heather Godverson. First stone Last for round. the Alberta third. I think it's caught something. It's lost its handle, and lost its, its weight. it's going the other way, too. Look at that. Back and forth. Yeah, it picked on something. There's a lot of synthetic brushes out there, so it could be a little piece of carpet or a little piece of dirt. Yeah. When it's such a fine fiber, I'm sort of assuming here, 
it's really hard to see where it happens, but we did see the handle go. Mm -hmm. And uh, definitely the weight came off it. Yeah, go yeah, hard. Hurry. Yeah. Hurry. Yeah. Hurry. Come on, guys. You can do it. Three. Go hard. Three. Move, it's over. Good positive Move, turn. It's over. Pull. Pull. Sit down. Okay. Good work, guys. Nice sweeping. What a mess. Try and come across the face of this one. Normal. Hit it on the outside, driving it onto the red one. Get rid of the shooter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We get oh. something cleaned up in front. Whoa. Looking at this, yeah. she Yes. There's one. Two. She's got the hammer okay. here. And she'll Good leave time. that right there, covering that yellow stone button. Well, the sad part, right? too, is that uh, it kind of overlapped the other red one, so yeah. the raise back on either one of those is difficult. Should come that way. Mm -hmm. Should come. Come this way. If you can. This rock rolled into a position where this run back is not there. That's what Kathy's looking at. We go there. Okay. Block the hole there. Block this hole. a few inches inside to, into the eight foot so we'll see how much curl is here we've seen a lot of them over curl the spot they wanted no whoa no no wait for it guys yeah no wait for it yeah yep yes yep whoa no yep yep hurry okay 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 well well, well clean, no, Kathleen. Right off. Clean, right off. Clean, right off. Clean. Right off. Clean. Right off. That's good. That's good. That's good. Nice shot, Laura. Good shot. What do you want to peel then? Go yellow onto red and then split them open. I'm going to try and hit this yellow one onto the red. Get them open. I'm trying to see if there's any way we can drive that yellow one across the top of that one. And get all three. Yeah. So she's thinking of into the pocket. I think the yellow may stay there, though. It's hard to tell from this angle. <laughs> think it'll go? Put some pressure on Newfoundland. I think she's talking about hitting it as thinly as she can Actually, on the I think broom the, side. the yellow and the red look easier from here. Just the middle red and the yellow. Just tighten it up a bit. Changing her mind now. Got to hit about three quarters. Drive them right into the red ones. Let's leave our red one there in case we can use it. Yep. Oh. Less. Less. Yeah. Kathy Borst and the first stone for the Alberta skip here in five. She leads three two, but she's in some trouble. Very nice shot. I'd say one out on top of it, eh? Yeah. They've been bailing for a while now. The lead come around that was not made, and then, of course, Heather's Rock picking something and stopping short. Got Kathy Borst in trouble. Okay. Yep.
Well, she's been a uh, provincial power in Newfoundland for a long time. Junior mixed and this her sixth appearance at a national. Where is it? Clean, clean, clean. What do you got? Halfway. Yep, yep. I like to block a little bit of the Ball. center line, this side Ball. of the center yeah. line. Overlap the red Ball. one so there's no run yep. back. Yep. Also Ball. take away the yeah. Yes, yes, yes. hole that might be there. Whoa, whoa, Boy, whoa, trying to play whoa, the tick whoa. now. No, no, no. Stop. Boy, that's Stop. two terrific Great calls, shot, isn't it, by Kathy? Hard way. Just a couple of nice ticks. Good. What I thought it was going to be hard way. What happened yeah. to the curl there? I was, uh, just, it just wasn't I wanted this side of the curl. Yeah, I did too, because yeah. I didn't want her to come this way, When right? it rubbed, I was thinking, ooh. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't know if uh, she was just a little outside and got out to the spot where it hadn't quite got way out here. I think that was the weight. The hill, I think. So right down on top, it's a toughie. Okay, if we have enough weight to bump it, that'd be just what we want. To move it off the pin. The 95 final, here? she lost to Connie Laliberti of Manitoba. Final stone. Newfoundland in position to steal here and tie it. Horn now, jumping on it, trying to get it by the guard. They left it too long. I'm not sure if that caught something or just took off. Kathy Cunningham looking to see if it's one or two. One yellow. My guess is one yellow. One yellow. Brenda. And a tie game. Which way do I have on that? <sighs> yeah. Oh, this thing is trapped. Laura Phillips steals here in five to even it through five. Alberta, Newfoundland in this quarterfinal featuring Kathy Cunningham of Newfoundland and Heather Godperson. And the skips, Laura Phillips from St. John's and Edmonton's Kathy Borst. This sports break is brought to you by Kellogg's, the best to you each morning. Hi, folks. Welcome to the newsroom. I'm Michael Landsberg. Sports desk right after the curling, probably around 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. We'll have baseball highlights for you. The Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. Here's a great sight before the game throwing at the first ball. Frank Torrey, the brother of Joe, had a heart transplant at the end of last season, but he's looking good. It's the Yanks against the Cards. First inning, Dwight Gooden to Royce Clayton, and he sends one to left field. That will go, and it's 1-0 for St. Louis. But then the big bats of the Yankees came alive. Big Cess, not a happy camper, but... He can still load it up. Sess takes it out over the wall in left field in a hurry, and uh, uh, the Yankees end up winning this game by a score of 7-3. to three. New York over St. Louis. And we've got the debut of Roger Clements. That's tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. We'll have that for you, and don't forget, curling comes up after a break, and we'll see you on Sports Desk. We make maple leaf wieners for Courtney, who will only eat Mr. Broccoli if he hasn't touched Mr. Gravy. We make maple leaf wieners for Tim, who says peas explode in his mouth. And for Caitlin, whose scrambled eggs must be shaped like little boats. Maple leaf wieners have a taste made especially for kids. For Kenny, who won't eat anything with sauce, and Jason, who won't eat anything without sauce, there will always be maple leaf. was a commercial for Bounty Jumbo, it would end right here.
but it's a commercial for Scott Towel's Jumbo, which soaks up big spills as well as Bounty Jumbo. Yet Scott Towel's Jumbo is 22% longer. Scott Towel, strong, absorbent, and lots on a roll. Just a reminder, you can help women's curling in Canada by buying the Scott Tournament of Hearts calendar. $5, and inside you'll find $6 of coupons for Scott paper products. Please mail $5 to Whitewater Communications, 105-245 Fell Avenue, North Vancouver, British Columbia, V7P 2K1. And just a reminder, if you already have your calendar, don't forget to mail in your $5 donation to help women's curling in Canada. It's tied 3-3. Okay, through five, yep. stay with us after the game of the TSN Turning Point, brought to you by the Canadian Standards Association. Wearing a tested helmet helps prevent injuries. Think safety and stay in the game. to present to all of you the winning team in the TSN Bondsville. First of all, skip Peter Buchanan. Peter, here's the trophy. And can you please present your team? Linda, thank you very much. Marty, through lead stones, excellent job. Brad, fantastic job, the best sweeper on the team. Bob, we, we're, we're so proud to, uh, to accept the first uh, TSN uh, Bondsville award. And thank you very much, Linda, it's a great honor. Thank you very much, and uh, be back to defend your title next year. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Fellas, the trophy. <laughs> oh, oh, from Ken Morton in Calgary, what teams have qualified for the 97 Levant Briar? Well, we'll be there at the Saddle Dome. Maybe in a few years, if they get good enough, Pete Buchanan and the team will be there. But what a field we have. Kevin Martin represents Alberta. Barry McPhee is back from BC for the second time. Former Canadian champion Vic Peters out of Manitoba. Jeff Thomas has been there before from Newfoundland. So has Lowell Goulden from Nova Scotia. The wrench. Ed Wernick represents Ontario. Robert Campbell coming off his best ever gold trail. And of, of course, he was at the McCain TSN Skins game from PEI. Don Westfall, Jim Packett is back. And our coverage begins from the Saddle Dome. Right now, they're expecting crowds of 175,000 for the week. And it begins Saturday, March the 8th. Two draws a day at 3.30 and 9 p.m. Eastern Time. But first, we've got to finish up our business here in Vancouver. We played five. It's 3-3, Alberta, Newfoundland in this quarterfinal at the 97 Scott Tournament of Hearts. It started with a pair of boots. Kodiak boots, actually. And it just grew from there. It grew from boots to shoes. From shoes to clothing. Everything to dress you up or dress you down. Oops, not that far down. You could say that wearing Kodiaks has taken on a whole new meaning. Hello? Hello? Are you in there? Oh, <laughs> ever wonder how some mechanics can quote you a package price on brakes without even seeing your car? Well, at Midas, the technicians aren't psychic. They always do a free written inspection first. And the price they quote is the price you pay. It's guaranteed. Just like the word. Midas, the way it should be. I see millions of people driving to Midas. Brought to you by AT&T Canada. Here are the numbers after five, Linda. Well, the first two ends, both teams tried to blank, hit and stayed. Then Alberta took two, Newfoundland had the chance for two back and couldn't make it. So that's why the score is at 3-2-4 uh, with Hammer. The one steal, the big messy end, Newfoundland taking a big point. Look at the draw percentage for Alberta, very high, but their hits very low, and that's maybe may causing them some problems. Overall, dead even, dead even on the scoreboard. 3-3 three, three as we can play here in six. Alberta to have hammer. This is the stone of the Newfoundland hey, lead. Hey. Heather Martin, and it'll catch the top 12. It's one of those half-half shots you talk about, Linda. The, Laura brought the stone to the rings, but um, 
If I think if uh, Kathy Boris Alberta hits it on the nose, she'll be out of the rings. And if she is, then it's in the free guard zone area and can't be removed. Those are the ones you hate. You think they're going to stop, so you leave them, and all of a sudden you realize you should have swept your first one into the house, yep. so this wasn't possible. Yep. And Laura made it clear that she wanted Please. to come to the oh. ring. She didn't want yep. to uh, just need a nose hit here, and then it can't be removed. Sit. Good shot. Good shot. Ho, 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 ho. And that can be touched, but it cannot be taken out of play. No. Nope. Tough not to call it IndyCar, but you can't anymore. It's the Kart World Series, the Grand Prix of Miami from the beautiful facility in Homestead. 1 p.m. Sunday afternoon, Greg Moore from here at Maple Ridge, B.C., Paul Tracy and the newest Canadian in the field, the rookie from Quebec, Patrick Carpentier, driving for Bettenhausen. So those are the Canadians to cheer on this year as another Kart World Series begins Sunday. Hurry, We're gonna play a little split here. Split the red one, come off of it, maybe slightly in behind the center guard and move the other red one to the wings. Just wants to tick this over. Go hard. Came down, eh? That was the call. Laura's got some options here. She can hit the Yellowstone onto the red one. I don't, it's not lined up in any fashion, I don't think. It might be if you catch it on the outside. Um, hit and stick is okay too. <clears throat> Laura indicated she'd like Kathy Kerr to roll to the center line behind those guards. Little shake of the head as she yeah. throws yeah. here in six. Three. Okay. Okay, Cass, be right. Alberta with last stone. Chance to lie two again. Brenda with the gloves. She'll tell you. What, the same ways? Yeah. Okay. Does that control weight, Kat? It's good. Yeah. So we've seen misses now by both seconds. Newfoundland lies too, and this is what happened earlier this week, Linda. It was a really interesting game when you see the steal by uh, Newfoundland. Fifth end, but Alberta going on to take the game 7-6. And we did mention in that game the Whoa. big edge was at third. Whoa. Heather Gopperson curling 91%. No. Whoa, it's gonna roll out. She would have liked to have done that on the last one. A good nose hit. When you're throwing those wide shots right, you really have to make sure you're set up to the broom because sometimes, uh, especially for a right-hander throwing to the left side, you don't get your body lined up yeah. wide enough, and that's when you get into trouble. Hard. Now you cut Three. it short. 
yeah. get them started yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, no. We're we'll roll, Heather. Whoa! Whoa. Well, you're we going to play the role. You had to be brushing that a little bit. Heather Godberson. Back button, Heather Godverson. She lives it all the way down the ice. Sweet. She's pretty upset about the last end, too, where she looked like she, she threw quite a good rock and it caught something. Yeah. You just put those things out of your mind. And move on. No, it's oh. more. Clean. Stop a bit, Laura. Clean, clean. Yeah. Some Ford email for you from Glenn Anderson in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Since playing without the hammer isn't a defensive, isn't as a defensive game as it used to be. I was wondering how many games this week have not had any steals. Whoa, you got That's a very interesting you got question. Uh, only been seven games this week without any steals. If you look at these two teams, Alberta's yeah, had more ends stolen yeah. against them. They've had nine, four, yeah. and thirteen no, against. No. Newfoundland's had fifteen okay. ends stolen on Same the four side. They've set up a lot of steals. Laura Pli Last tries week. to play it quite yeah. aggressively, so they're a lot heavier on the four than the against. And they stole the last end, the fifth, to tie it three-three as we play here in six. Control weight, cast is just a little big. And against Alberta, it seems that fifth end is the magic one for a steal. Same type of thing. Try not to jump it. Try not to jump it. Just stay close to it. Try and get the roll. Just enough, but it won't push it out. It really, really moved on her. Sorry, guys. Sit down. Sorry about that. Okay. I thought they could hold that. Laura was talking about the weight, that perhaps it was a little bit light. Can't see anything in the hand action to indicate that she got it to the inside of the target line. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I think it's a little bit of the opposite of what she said in the hack, though. Try not to jump it. I think that no, it's important that I, I you get to those stones to early. And uh, to it, normally she's absolutely stable. right if you jump on them sometimes. But on this ice surface, we've seen all week, if you leave them, if you don't just go to get them, get them going, flowing. Should be lots. Um, they, they go on you, and once they start to go, you have no chance with them. They're gone. And the tendency of not jumping it is on ice that has straight spots. That's this right. ice does not. It's not moving very nicely. We've, we've talked about all week. It curls all the way down the ice. It just doesn't finish big. I, I think that... Uh, now there's a chance. Too deep. Sorry. She knows that this gives Laura Phillips a chance to hit this in removing this one and come across we'll off of it onto this one and get out of a, potentially of having outside. two scored against you and if it's not too thin if it does curl up a bit too much if she hits and rolls mm -hmm. right dead in front of it it's still a tough stone to get rid of as Linda is saying if she hits that a little thicker and rolls over here and 
front of this one then is also a shot to get out of. Final stone for Newfoundland, Laura Phillips. Here in six, Alberta has hammered. Again, it's Martin and Kerr. Here's the calling for the roll now. Okay, that's good, Laura. Throw your weight. Throw the same weight you threw there. Like that. Yeah. See, the ice is much bigger for this shot. She's only playing hack weight. Hack weight. So let's talk about this curl now, this tendency that you're suggesting that they should just be there, brush it, keep it going. It'll always be curling, but just keep control of the curl. Is that is well, it, obviously, if you throw it wide, then you have to be, you know, you're going to have to wait early for it, too. But I think if it's if it's thrown well and thrown up, then you just got to kind of keep it clean and be with it. Because once they start to go, you'll never get them back. Pretty nice control of yeah. this one. Perfect weight. She knew exactly what she wanted to throw, and she threw it. Well thrown for the deuce. So Kathy Borst and Alberta take advantage of the Newfoundland miss by Laura Phillips. Score two. Newfoundland has hammer back and they trail 5-3. No, I mean, I Good call, Heather. Deli shaved black forest ham. Oven roasted turkey and chicken. Assorted sub. Popular downtown deli or the Winklers on Maple Street. Introducing the new and improved taste of maple leaf sandwich meats that will turn your home into a deli. Deli shaved black forest ham. Oven roasted turkey and chicken. Sub Express with ham bologna and summer sausage. You forgot the muscular on table seven. And you forgot your check. New maple leaf sandwich meats. Taste that's a cut above. When people hear the Hendrick Motorsports team switch to Quaker State this year, they'll probably think Quaker State wrote us a big check. Well, that's not how it happened. First it had to pass our camshaft test. Then it had to pass our dyno test. Then it had to pass a track test. Then they wrote us the big check. Look for the new Quaker State NHL Cool Collectibles catalog at all dealers displaying this sign. You can get great NHL league and team identified items when you have your oil changed with Quaker State, the official motor oil sponsor of the NHL. This is the eighth and final game of the series. In the game. A five-all time. Hands it on that wing. Here's a shot. Henderson made a wild stab work fell. Here's another shot. Right by the floor. Henderson. We live one of hockey's greatest moments with this 1997 silver dollar from the Royal Canadian Mint. Order now. Call 1-800-267-7000. Men, is gray hair sneaking up on you right under your nose? It is sneaking up on me. Here, too. You need Just For Men gel. Brush in and in five minutes, rinse. It's the sure thing for a natural look. Just For Men gel. The pain of arthritis and joint stiffness can get the better of many people. So today, there's coated Extra Strength Aspirin with the power to relieve your worst pain right where it hurts. Aspirin, it really knows your pain. Since they've been playing for the Canadian Women's Curling Championship in 1961, Alberta has made it to more playoffs. Newfoundland still looking for their first ever women's title. And head to head, well, they each won a game. This is the third meeting. And as we go to the seventh, it's 5 3 Alberta leading Newfoundland. The team from the St. John's Four. Curling yep. Club has hammered. Yep, yep, yep. Three. Good shot. Team. Well, do it. Let's get on that. Laura will play the freeze to the face of it. Tight on line. One of the things that we've heard line the players talk line. about is the speed today, and we've said that it's 14 Ooh, to 15 ooh, seconds sorry. down the middle and 16 come seconds on, for a up, guard. Come up, come up, so that come one's up. got oh, a little too come much on, to make on, the freeze. On, on. Okay. okay, Heather. It's all right. 
And it's the control of that drive from the hack that they're having trouble with. And that, Ray, sometimes this is where the no backswing delivery has a little bit of an advantage. Yeah. And then when it's very fast, they can tend to slow their body Please. down a little Quick, easier. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, it's hanging. Whoa. 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 Kate throws with her gloves on, too. That ran really straight. You don't see a lot of it. It's interesting. They both of them do the front end. Maybe they play in a cold club. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course, you know, uh, when you were playing in the uh, clubs and things like that, and the, before the handles became plastic, mm -hmm. they, we all threw. I threw with gloves on. We all did. Uh, we threw with gloves on because the, the handles got so cold. They were metal, were they? Yeah. But uh, now the plastic way, handles, it's... Uh, Less? And dehumidifiers, no heaters, the whole no ball of wax. And the idea is you have a little bit no different line. feel with Queen. the fingers. Here's and also, I didn't like the nice fact now. that the glove sometimes felt like it yeah, caught the yeah. yeah. I could use it as an excuse, oh, mind right you. I used to try and get two or three right pair up. broken in, so I got used to them. New gloves where you felt like you were going to stick to the handle. It's a nice shot by Heather there. But I always had the gloves with me, Vic, because, you know, to, to hitch up the horse and the sure. wagon together yeah. in those days was a chore. Carry your own stones yeah. into the ring. Monogrammed <laughs> stones brought with you. Hurry! Okay. Heather, there's, come here. There's the jam. So Newfoundland with Last Rock. Trying to set up a two that would get them right back into it. This system of freezing to the face has been very effective this week, and it's the kind of ice that it is very effective because the houses haven't been lively. So very hard to squeeze the stone out, especially during the midweek when we had so much frost in the, in the, uh, on the edges of the rings. But you, Laura's worked it very well all week long. Well, that's the bullet point that I was going to say to Linda. You, you yeah. made that point. And it's surprising that Newfoundland has had success at it. We haven't seen a lot of other teams do it. Well, you, you really do get used to playing, the, you know, the corners in those kind of situations because you can get, but we're having trouble getting around the corners this week. We're getting into the 12-foot. Today, you can get into the 12-foot, especially going away from us. And I was going to say, uh, for Brenda, for example, to pop that one out with swingy ice, it's just a little bit tougher when, to play those picks because the rock is coming in so fast at the end. It's also one of the things that uh, not a lot of ladies' teams have that a lot of the men's uh, teams have, and that's that huge weight, that big, big hitting weight where they can squeeze rocks out. Uh, Wayne Madaws and Kevin Martin, they, they, they can, they can, if you don't get it frozen absolutely perfect, they get it out of there on you. Brenda Bomer makes the takeout, but the shooter rolls like across the face of the Newfoundland stone and sits T line 12 foot. You could do that. That's good there, though. Same way, right? You could also draw the other I don't side. I'm freezing there. That's okay. What? What? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. That's what Kathy wants to do. <laughs> what? This one? Uh, either one is okay. Which do you want, Kath? There are the two options. I really like the way this team works. Uh, they talk about things in such an honest yeah. way, and everybody says what they think. And Laura does have last choice, but in this case, Laura doesn't really mind, and she's letting Kathy say, I would prefer to draw to the open side. He so now it's up to Kathy to make it. Oh, yeah. you got to watch these closely. Key line. Key line. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Hurry. All the way. Come on, right up. Come on, come on, come on. All the way, all the way, all the way. Good squeeze. Good rock, Kat. Good squeeze, Kat. Normal. We've played six updated numbers now on the thirds. Godverson and Cunningham. it big time. She gets the roll right across. Punches it back. 
Good rotation on those. That gets you a little extra spin as you're trying to go across the house. Hit this on the outside. You'll come off this red rock on back over to the other red one. Still be lying yeah. two. Yeah. Kathy Cunningham. Hurry. 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 Right out of her hand. Hurry. Kerr Martin on it. Hurry. Try not to jam it onto her own. Shooter does hang on to the edge of 12. They might have been better to actually roll it out even. Well, for sure. Gives uh, okay, Newfoundland a chance yeah. to put a rock Probably right down eight. there in front of those two. Make it very difficult to get it out of there. Yeah. Kathy Cunningham. Yeah. The last of the third stones here Where at the seven. Only. Not through. Right Wait only. Room. No, Whoa. no, no. Where is it? Whoa. Whoa. Look at this. Okay. Just too much weight. That's all, Vic. If, I think if she has the proper weight, gives it to the sweepers a little bit, then they can. Maybe the south turn will run straight. Freeze that in there. Yeah, they didn't do anything good, okay. the brushers. No. Yeah, they were communicating very well, actually, that it had a bit too much weight. Yeah. Needs to make contact, I think I heard in there. Otherwise, it's going through. She leads on the board 5 3. Her numbers, though, wouldn't indicate a, a stellar game for Kathy Borst at 67%. Made a couple of big shots, though. And we talk about the right ones at the right time. The first for the skip from the Otwell Curling Club. Whoa. Here in the seventh, she leads 5-3. I was hoping it would sit sooner so a freeze on these other two would not be shot rock. She wanted to just roll in this area here, oh, not there, so Let's. this would prevent Laura from coming down and trying to do what uh, Kathy uh, was trying to do, and that sit right in that area and be shot rock. Where she's sitting. Okay. Yeah, clean. Yeah, mine's good. She didn't take a lot of yep. ice. Where is it? We did it. Well, we can. Well, then. Right to it. Come on. Oh, yeah, hurry, guys. Hard. Hurry. to go all the way with it. You want to make her hit. Me like. Yeah. Make her yeah. draw or make her hit. If you looked at the numbers coming in, Laura Phillips on draws is at 67% and takeout 76%. So you might expect them to make her draw and it looks yep. like that's what they're trying to do. If 
you wanted to make her hit, you bring it right in for shot rock. They're trying to block off the path for the draw. Just at a top 12 center line. Call has gone out from Kate Horn, Brenda Bomer. We need help, so Heather Godberson is out now. And Kathy Borst to help call the line if she can from down this end. Trying to drag it as far as they can. Well, she knew she was the ice was yeah. quick, huh? Yeah. So is it tougher to put the, the guards up? Then and put them well, on. She wanted it actually in, right? She wanted it in, but not deep. And so she was probably thinking not to drive too hard and just was a little bit too soft. Okay, we've got to be eight foot. It and does make Nora go a bit wider. Does that make you feel good? Silence is what they got. Whoa. No. 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 Sit. sit. Talking to it now. And it will sit back four for one. One yellow, one for Newfoundland. But the end started out more promising than that. They were set up for a possible two as Laura Phillips watched it, waited, and then sighed. Some relief. Stopped in time. Alberta still leads. Want to go, or you want to go side? Side. Men, is gray hair sneaking up on you, right under your nose? It is sneaking up on me. Here too. You need just for men gel. Brush in and in five minutes rinse. It's the sure thing for a natural look. Just for men gel. The pain of arthritis and joint stiffness can get the better of many people. So today, there's coated extra strength aspirin with the power to relieve your worst pain right where it hurts. Aspirin, it really knows your pain. At Maple Leaf, when we reduce the fat in our new lean and light wieners and bologna, we tested the taste with families just like yours. We found we could reduce the fat by 60%, and lean and light would still have that mouth-watering Maple Leaf taste. Any less fat? Well, then, we'd appeal to only some members of the family. The uncompromised great taste of new Maple Leaf lean and light. Taste that's a cut above. Purex has gone to great lengths to give you a longer lasting bathroom tissue. Purex Double Roll. With twice as many pillowy soft sheets on every roll, it takes forever to run out. Purex Double Roll. Pillowy softness that lasts twice as long. Morning. Did somebody move the table? Move the table? Yeah, we're winning, you know. I have to keep my routine exactly the same. Uh, right. It's not the right bowl. Lucky spoon. Dad, that's not the right chair. <laughs> Part of your life, all of your life. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. You shaved, didn't you? You're pushing it. The 1997 Scott Tournament of Hearts from Vancouver is brought to you by Cottony Soft Cottonelle Bathroom Tissue. Hope to see you next year, Yeah, Regina next year for the 1998 Scott Tournament of Hearts. The PEI team, Rebecca Jean McPhee, Need help? Kim Dolan, Need help? and fifth players Sandy Matheson gave it a good run. They had a chance to force a tiebreaker if they could beat Newfoundland in the 17th and final round robin draw last night, but weren't able to. And so, despite all the, the combinations, yeah, four teams broke away free and clear. 
Okay. And that's how we sit that's here. Right. No tiebreakers. And this is the opening quarterfinal. Alberta with a 5-4 lead now as we play eight. And the team from Edmonton with last rock. A very nice shot. Uh, Newfoundland put the first one in front. Heather Martin threw up the guard. And then Alberta, they'd already Whoa. talked about it. We heard them Whoa. in the break saying, let's no, go no. open. Let's try and pull the play away no. if they put up a guard. Whoa. So it's up to Heather Whoa. to try and get a hit Whoa. and roll behind it. You've got to save the shooter here, otherwise she'll peel the guard on you. Yeah. Okay, that's good, Heather. Nice control. Back with you at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. First and second. Sandra Schmirler, Saskatchewan, finished at 9 and 2. Allison Goring, 7 and 4 from Ontario. The winner goes through to Sunday's final. The loser gets a second chance against the winner of this game in tomorrow's semifinal. She got that outside with lots of rotation. It's not going to curl. No, we don't have it. Kate dropped into the stone a little bit. That is her body height went from high to very low very quickly and I think maybe just pushed it out a bit. In turn come around. Kathy Kerr. Okay. Gonna need some. Yep. Line only. Clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight foot, eight foot. Eight foot. Top four. Stop, Kat. Stop, stop, stop. Too far back. Okay, Kat. We really just wanted to stop that stone in this area here. Behind this guard. Step back step too away. far back allows. Alberta to come down to it. They can come with either turn. They're going to come with the other Back turn. Back four. If you get the guard, that's a fine. Won't be long till Brenda Bomer heads out on the highway looking for adventure and whatever comes her way and her 1,000 cc BMW bike Mine's good. touring to Arizona, Got lots Texas. They take two with hammer, then they give back one. But unfortunately, Newfoundland in the fifth stole one. Well, do it really good. Another uh, setting something way. up here. A little more. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Shaking them off again, Backy. Kathy Kerr. Coming down now. Whoa! Oh, still lots. Still, still back in back twelve. Come on, babe. Come on, Kath. Come on, a little bit. A little more, a little more, a little more. Okay. A okay, little bit. All right. Ford email from Calgary. Do you feel that players are taking advantage of the free guard zone as much as they should be? I think that uh, it's, take, it's been a process. I think it's a year after year we see uh, more and more teams using it. I think that the men's teams use it. Uh, more aggressively than uh, the women's teams do, but Whoa. I think it's no, it's going no. the right direction. I think it could be even used Whoa. more. It, ah. it depends on your style too, Linda. I mean, if you here. if you if you feel that uh, you know Girl. your strengths are are maybe lie a little bit defensively, then you'll try and stay okay. there. Just use it when you when you feel you really have to. So it's it's a uh, it's something that no, has made the game. This. It's obviously the the rule that's made the game just wonderfully interesting. Four player and for uh, yeah, I think you know, we spectators. Have and this end, it's that yellow stone, the free guard zone stone out in front that's got Alberta in some Normal trouble. control. Yeah. So Brenda's rock not work out as well as they wanted to. Don't do to. any moving here. Third stone's here in the gate. If she really wanted to be aggressive here, she could ignore this yeah. hit Whoa. and go in behind the guard. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa. Playing eight, I might have been very tempted to go behind that guard. 
Even without last rock. Yeah, I know it's. I know you're taking a chance. Rock. I admit that, but no. you know, the, you're, I know it you're does. You're going to run out of ends. Kathy can now get the hit and roll behind it herself. She could also get the double here, of course. Just a bit too much weight. No, you gotta go now. You gotta, I, you gotta go behind the guard now for sure. Please come in here. What do you think? Absolutely. Or you wanna play this? No. I think we have to take it. Okay. I think Kathy should come down the ice on this. This is a very key situation. It's the eighth end and you're hitting her. All Kathy Borst is gonna do is draw around the guard. She's just gonna ignore the stones in the back 12 foot and go around the guard. I think the play is to go in here. And it was Laura's idea. It's Kathy's idea to play the hit. Yeah, I don't like this call. Yeah. Yeah. Hard all the way, guys. Last stone for the Newfoundland third. Kathy Cunningham. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Right hurry, hurry. Kathy. Come on. Good sweeping. And it sits right there. So Newfoundland is lying to right around this. the edge of the 12 foot. Too, you know. Sure you can, Kathy Forrest. Yeah, I said to go around. Please. Like this? Control. Going back to our question, this is uh, an indication of two teams that aren't really using the front stone to, to their benefit as far as I'm concerned. I can understand Yay! Kathy Borst a little bit because they're lying two on her, but it's a nice roll here. There. Play it this way. Okay. Of course, before uh, Laura Phillips could have drawn because the redstone was not shot rock, now it is. That's right. Now you have to hit it. Control. She's going to that out turn. Her preferable turn. Probably jump it. Laura yeah. Phillips, yeah. first yeah. skip stone, Newfoundland. Alberta with hammer here in eight. They lead five four. Does right on the edge of the 12. These ones, do you know? I like to come around. Do you? I yeah. Do, I do hit her. Like this. That matters. I think if we're gonna try and get two, we might as well try and come around. Absolutely. What's it doing here? It's bending. Okay. This is definitely the call in this area here. You don't have to, you know, you're trying to get in behind that, in front of the T-line. You can see where Heather has her brush, there or there. Is this side the same as the other one? And even if you show a corner, oh, there's a chance that it can be jammed back on the back one. That's why she's playing this turn, coming around this side rather mm -hmm. than the out turn side. Center? What does Halfway? that tell you? 55% on her draw so far. Okay. And she's been both sides early in the game. She was a little bit strong on the draws and the last end a little bit light. Just doesn't quite have the feel. Which is some of that inconsistency that she referred to and admitted to this week. Lots of room. She's got lots very room. strong brushing with Kate and. Uh, Brenda, but she does just hasn't been utilizing that strong brushing. You mentioned earlier what strong brushes they are. Oh, look at this absolutely hook in here. She threw it there herself. Vic. It's a little less weight, and, and, and they can get it to the top of the four foot or the middle of the eight foot with brushing. Less weight, it would be okay. Thanks for off, Kathy. 
Yeah. One last wait, eh? But Kathy's right, a little less weight. Didn't want to take it in the back. No, too. that's good. It's yeah. good. Perfect. His weld right on top of it. Weld right on top, Four. she says. Got well, room. Lots of room. No, oh, no. no. No, lots of room. Whoa, got only if you have to. Only. Lots here of room. Goes. Make sure it's here. Okay, Whoa. 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 Make sure, make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hurry. Hard. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh. Good well, communication on that one, too, Linda. Nice one. But when you've got that kind of draw weight in your pocket, as it seems Phillips does, makes your reasoning and your questioning of her not going here. behind earlier. Grace, if you've got yeah. it, use it. I'm thinking here, Kath, and take Well, uh, I mean, it's just that there was a... We'll, we'll listen well, to Heather and to Kathy first. I throw is just back 12. Okay. But it's bending. Well, it comes off the hill, though. A little more. Back 12 foot weight, uh, you heard Kathy Vorce say, just to hit it a little bit on the outside, try and get her two points. Hold She's the shooter. So big here, I don't think. No. Just curled a little too much, Lindsay. No. I just came, bumped it a little too far. But, it, you know, good shot. Back 12. Kathy's comment was, it seems the wider you go in this spot, the more bend you get. And that's why she feels with the little extra weight and extra ice, the less ice she's taking, it won't have that big swoop. Has already stolen once a single in five in good position here to possibly steal another point to tie it. He's got lots of weight, I'll tell you. Nothing. Heather Godfordson talking to it now. Curl, she says. Curl, she says. Have to watch their own now. Go too far. No, it'll stop in time. One yellow, another steal for Newfoundland. A great draw, last drop draw by Phillips. Snow White gives up the steal. We're all tied 5-5 through eight of this quarterfinal here at the Scott. Oh. Oh, if I would have thrown the right way, we would have had it. I think Ford has had its best successes when we've gone in our own direction. This is why we've given the Canadian car buyer a choice between the Taurus sedan or wagon at the same very affordable price. So they can choose the Taurus that meets their individual needs. Sedan or wagon. It's an original idea. It's a good idea. Ford of Canada, providing choice for Canadians. We make maple leaf wieners for Courtney who will only eat Mr. Broccoli if he hasn't touched Mr. Gravy. We make maple leaf wieners for Tim, who says peas explode in his mouth. And for Caitlin, whose scrambled eggs must be shaped like little boats. Maple leaf wieners have a taste made especially for kids. For Kenny, who won't eat anything with sauce, and Jason, who won't eat anything without sauce, there will always be maple leaf. Maybe you think only those jet set types need a Nokia cellular phone. Hi, it's me, flight's delayed. Well now, Nokia's making cellular phones so easy. Late, late. Can I skip my bath? They're practically child's uh -huh. play. Attention, flight 11 is delayed. Uh, can I call you back? With Nokia's big, easy to read screens, last number redial, and sleek designs. No, don't hold dinner. I'm eating my body weight in hot dogs. No, wait up, you gotta tuck me in. So get set to join the jet set. Nokia, Europe's leading cellular phone, also made in America, connecting people. You can feel the cotton softness, cotton Feel the cotton softness, cotton Linda Moore and Ray Turnbull have put together a series of three videotapes featuring world champions Kim Gillard and Jeff Stoughton. 
Curly Mechanics Strategy and a Viewer's Guide. Here's how to order. 1-800-454-8888. Final stone of the eighth for Kathy Borst. No, no. Well, Kathy admitted after she threw this, it was a little heavy, and this was a good opportunity. The steal for Newfoundland in five, Kathy did not have an easy shot. This one wasn't as tough. A tap, just push it back a little bit, and Alberta could have had their two. And you can see with the extra weight, it just hangs out. A little bit fortunate, perhaps, not to give up more than one. And so with the steal, it's a 5-5 five, five tie now as we go to nine. Alberta maintains control of Last Rock. First stone by Newfoundland is that center line guard, the yellow stone. This is Kate Horn. First stone for the Alberta lead. Okay, go now, Brent. Go now. Single steals just loom so large when they set up those that rocks anymore. deuces so in nicely. There, curving anymore in the others. Back 12. Kind of back 12 weight, eh? Heather Martin. About hack. Should come now. Any time now, Heather. Close. Come on, babe. Come on. Take Can you take the red one, Kath? Go hard. Go hard. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. All right back 12 point. TSN's coverage of the Nissan Open, the second round from Pacific Palisades, continues at 7.30 Eastern tonight. Payne Stewart, Scott Hoke, opening round 65. Dave Barr is at 72. PGA Tour on TSN tonight, 7.30 Eastern time. Kate Horn. Yep. For a little roll here and behind the guard, the long yeah. guard. Pull this way if you can. No, no, it's okay. It's good. Sits right there. Control. Brenda Bulmer. Yep. 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 Whoa. Yep. Sit. Sit. Shot. Yeah, she'll roll it into the edge of the eight. Still can't yep. take advantage of that guard put that up good. by Newfoundland. Of course, the main reason the guard goes up by Newfoundland, they're trying to get Alberta to take one. They're trying to get it so that they're in a position where Alberta has to make a tough shot, but maybe get their yeah. one, and then Newfoundland can come home. So it's Please. not necessarily whoa. for the steal whoa. this whoa. end, getting whoa. that guard up. They're hoping to force Alberta to not whoa. take advantage of an Over. opportunity and get two. Okay, that's good. Okay, Kath. Hit and roll. Kathy Boris playing the intern, the inside out shot. Laura playing the outside in shot. Whoa! Whoa! Please! Please. Whoa. straight down there as Whoa. well. Whoa. We're rolling out. No, 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 off. Off. So Keep. She seemed to have straightened up a little bit the last Girl. couple ends. Okay. Get out. Good. Okay. Now a chance to get in behind this guard here. Four and a half. Go this way, because even if you don't get it fully buried, you'll try and get it in here. And if they try and remove it, there could be a jam over here.
laying third stones here in nine. Newfoundland's Kathy Cunningham. Whoa, she Whoa. Lost. Whoa. Only, just to get Whoa. Back to Whoa. Right no, off. no, no, Kath. Right off. Right off. Tons. Once again, she threw it there by herself without any brushing help and maybe got a little full, I don't know. It's I think maybe a little bit looking at the way Hack. she looked at the stone. Hack, wait. You can get the inside roll now, the roll in behind the guard. Set up the potential of scoring two. Heather Godverson. so she's going to play it with thought she might play the hack weight again we can sense there's a right on. an added yeah, tension touch. now as yep. we play this ninth Three. tied 5-5 five, five. Whoa. whoa no no whoa no whoa oh. okay that's good is nobody able to get that roll the winner goes on to play the loser of tonight's game between Ontario and Saskatchewan. The loser is eliminated. So coming up, the other quarterfinal featuring Saskatchewan and Sandra Schmirler. Two games better than everyone else. Best team here this week. Nine and two against Ontario's Allison Goring. The winner right through to Sunday's final. The loser will play the winner of this game. And right now it's 5-5, playing nine, Alberta with Hammer. And her first, the Newfoundland skip. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Come on. Roll a little rope. All right. Not even talking Good. to it isn't working. The rock just doesn't want to go. It's getting to the point Come where my nose, eh? a couple more and they won't be in the house. Nose are a little inside rolls fine too. Well, nose hit would go be board, interesting girl, because then board. if Laura hit it, hit it, she wouldn't be in the house, which would allow Kathy Bors to blanket. So it might force uh, Laura to play the outturn come around. Try and steal again. If you hit this right on the nose, you're just biting the rings. Newfoundland has one stone left. Decide to either hit it, try and roll in, Queen. or play the draw no. for the steal. Yeah. <laughs> Very good shot. So she'll sit just top. Okay. Edge of the 12. Like that. Well, you can see at home what's happened. If, if Laura no, Phillips no, no, hit no, that no. on the nose, she wouldn't be in the rings. So then, yeah. 
Time out. Kathy Boris could, right there it is from the top. Kathy Boris could then um, blank blank the end. There's a timeout called. I think this Do is a going? big decision. Well, like, yeah, it is. So I, I don't want to give up more than one yeah, what are you comfortable throwing? And you've land well? fifth player joining them is Susan Wright. You think so? <laughs> well, boy, the hit is awfully close to the jam. I'll tell you that right now. Right. Right. You know? Come right in there and she's still got the bump right back. Yeah, but she does the bump right back. She's not shot. She doesn't, her shooter's not on. Yeah. Oh, Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. The worst that's going to happen is we're going to give up too. Yeah, yeah. I like the draw. I think okay. the draw is okay. the better call. Very. Okay. Coach Daryl Horn has joined the Alberta team. Okay. Now, if we get our uh, get our deuce, what are we going to do with first stone going back? I'll worry about that after this. Well, let's, 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 okay, we got two minutes to talk yeah. about it. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So be prepared to draw, guys. Be prepared to draw, he says. Just uh, mentally preparing Kathy, really, if this shot is a, a perfect one. Well, we talked we talked about the decision she had to make and then of course even hitting that there was a possible jamming and so she's decided to go around this here try and get it right into this area here steal a point or force Kathy Boris to outdraw her well, she made a wonderful draw with her last stone in the eighth that led to the steal now another draw needed by Phillips wait only where is it Wait for it, Colts. No, 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 guys. Whoa. No line here. No line. No, 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 no. What do you got? It'll come in. Whoa, whoa. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it in, Cap. Come on. Come on. Good shot, Laura. To the edge of the button. T line. Could it have been better? Shot, Laura. We can get enough, we can just, just skinny the guard and tap it enough, eh? Just tap it back eight inches, ten inches, just. <laughs> it's yeah. full, fully buried. It, it takes, you were right, though, and on the way down, you could see it was holding, 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 but you have to have faith that it was going to come at the end because they've been coming all week, especially to the button. I'm just wondering if it comes off the hill enough out here to get the top. So that's the continuing problem. Kathy says when she takes I a little bit less ice again. and throws a little bit extra weight, she doesn't think she gets the same movement that Laura has been getting mm -hmm. on those last draws, both this end and last Backline end. Weight. Yep, she could be right. And how much is going through her mind from her last shot in eight when she gave up the steal. Similar situation here. She only has yep. to move it about yep. six inches, though. Yep. Yep. Right away. Hey. Two of the best brushers out here this week. Kate Horn, Brenda Bomer, trying to work it, drag it by that guard. It's by. It actually stopped curling there. They held it up too much, did they? They did. They actually straightened it out. And it's a steal of one. Newfoundland has the lead. Alberta will have last rock can try to come from behind. Nice shot, bud. Okay, what do you want to do? Hi, folks. Welcome to the newsroom. We are about a half hour away from Sports Test full rundown of the day in sport. Hey, we got some baseball highlights for you. The Blue Jays kicked off their spring season. Tons of optimism as they face the Pittsburgh Pirates in Dunedin. Pat Hankin, Cy Young Award winner, went three innings, gave up three hits, and struck out one. Hankin uh, pitched pretty well as he did all season long. Carlos Garcia scooped up the ground ball there, and Garcia looking to contribute both offensively and defensively. Scoreless into the seventh, Robert Perez off the ball in left center field. That'll score two runs, both of them, by the way, unearned. It was 2-0 for Toronto. One of the things to look for is the performance of Mike Kimlin, and he pitched nicely in the ninth inning and actually picked up the victory. Toronto over Pittsburgh by a score of 2 to nothing. And Roger Clemens makes his debut tomorrow, and we'll be there making our debut for the 1997 season. 
Clements and the Blue Jays tomorrow on TSN. We'll take a break back to curling and join us for Sports Desk at 6.30 right after the curling. Deli shaved black forest ham. Oven roasted turkey and chicken. Assorted sub. Popular downtown deli or the Winklers on Maple Street. Introducing the new and improved taste of maple leaf sandwich meats that will turn your home into a deli. Deli shaved black forest ham. Oven roasted turkey and chicken. Sub Express with ham bologna and summer sausage. You forgot the mustard on table seven. And you forgot your check. New maple leaf sandwich meats. Taste that's a cut above. The pain of arthritis and joint stiffness can get the better of many people. So today, there's coated extra strength aspirin with the power to relieve your worst pain right where it hurts. Aspirin, it really knows your pain. This Saturday, the Rocket and the Jays lift off against the Cardinals. It all begins here. Saturday, Blue Jays baseball on TSN. Take a look. A steal of one in five for Newfoundland. A steal of one in eight. A steal of one in nine. And so we go to the tenth now with Newfoundland leading 6-5. And the last steal came right here. Well, Ray and I were talking about this, and Ray, I think it was just the extra weight seemed to straighten this one up. He, he certainly can't blame Heather Godberson for it. I mean, we're right behind this sheet, and I thought it was going to snap there and come right across and maybe hit the guard. You saw a spot about five feet in front of the hog line where it just seemed to straighten up and yeah. wouldn't come into the button area. Yeah, they have been... Thieves, haven't they? Yeah, Newfoundland against Alberta so far in this championship. And now leading 6 5 as we play 10, and Alberta has last rock. Well, it's interesting they're playing on this side because Hans Gutschuk, the ice maker, told me this is the, the corner guard is, is, is a good call. We, we suggest to keep him inside the eight foot. But he was telling me that this is the one side where it just doesn't curl as much as the other side. So I would have thought maybe the corner, corner guard would have been on the other side of the sheet. The corner well, guard it's good into the figure guard zone rule. My only thought is that uh, we've talked about how Laura Phillips, anyways, favors the out turn, and on that side they are forcing everybody to play an in turn come around and in turn taps. If they've been scouting versus about turn, they might be playing on that side. But if it doesn't vary, of course, it's not a not a good place well, to be. I'm not suggesting it won't. I'm just mentioning, as I did in my reading the A segment, that Hans uh, has mentioned that's probably the only spot in the. In the uh, on the ice service that hasn't been breaking to the 12 foot. They haven't got the guard too far over, which is it's just on the edge of the four foot area, covering the eight. Control. So. Actually, board. Through board. Have to be very careful with this one. Yeah, you got to save Wait the shooter. Side, get, Kate. get the corner. Kate Horn. Yep. Hurry. Hurry to line. Hurry. 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 You can run off the center guard. You've got a rocket nice. behind the corner. If you sit like there, yeah. if you sit there, she's coming around it. Okay. Even nose is okay, Kath. Just control. Kathy Kerr. As it's gone silent here at the Agrodome in this 10th end, 6-5, Newfoundland leading. Nice weight. Whoa. Nice weight. Whoa. Whoa. Nice rock. That's good, Cal. That's exactly what you called for. Time to give you the answer to our CIBC brain teaser prior to Kathy Borson, 95, who was the last Alberta skip to make it to the Scott Tournament of Hearts final, Linda. Gee, I was thinking back. I don't know if it's 83 and Kathy Shaw. 
You are right. Penny Ryan played with Kathy Shaw that year, and uh, Penny Hurry played with me after that, so I do remember that game. Four. Brenda Hurry. Bomer. Hurry. Now, th this is not a bad situation for Alberta. They've got the uh, stones set up. They've got the three quarters of the rings left Hurry. to them. Hurry. Trying to get it by this corner guard. Hurry, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Whoa. Okay. So close. Okay, Bren. You got a couple of shots at it. Nose is good, Cap. Control. From an Alberta standpoint, I don't like the way those two rocks outside the rings have lined up now. If you do get a corner guard behind them, you could uh, leave them in double raise. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Oh, I'm supposed to get it out. Come on, Kat. Yeah! 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 Just want to chip it over on the corner. Hurry! Yeah, yeah. she didn't want to hit it. Good, good, good call by Laura Phillips, Linda. Well, she got it outside and also with big weight. And let's remember when Kathy Borst threw just even a little extra weight in the eighth end down this spot, how well it rode okay, out there so it wouldn't come in. Hard to tell from the delivery, boost. but it, uh, as you said, Ray, very good call to make yeah. sure that they didn't chip it onto the Yellowstone no. in the side of the 12 foot. Okay. I don't know if we can get him in for shot, that's all. Kathy first talked about playing yeah, this to here. Still got this. This is the Alberta the Stone. Yeah, it doesn't actually curl that great there. Curls better come around in here. Yes, you're right. We're talking about the amount of curl that's Except in there. That's what Kathy Borson is saying. It doesn't matter that you're fucking up the race back. <laughs> so what do you think? One, one thing you could do then maybe is consider coming down here, pushing that back. Try trying, here then. Trying to roll over in this area. You also get the forefoot open. This is one of those where you, it's fairly early in the end and you just sort of go with what you feel. You're, you're setting up the end. You're not at this point immediately getting the two into position. Kathy feels the best way in this case is to try the corner freeze. Brenda Bulmer. the one area of the ice that we didn't see a lot of curl. We'll see if this one breaks Nothing. for them. You might want to take it behind Where everything. Yep. Just won't finish on Kate that Horn trying spot. to drag it back as far as she can. But she gets it back behind the T line, so. Ford email from uh, Sheldon Seafoot yep. in Brandon, Manitoba, <laughs> with the majority of curlers prefer to be one up. Coming home without or one down with? That's a $64 question. Mm -hmm. I think uh, oh there's no question. Uh, yep. Yep. One time yep. you preferred to, I, or I, I we certainly preferred to clean, be one clean. down coming whoa, home whoa, with. Whoa, right off. No. No. Yeah. Please. I don't yeah. know how you feel about it. Yeah. 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 It's sort of a toss up. It depends on the ice, it depends on the opposition. Oh. Kathy Cunningham rolls it behind cover, sits back four. Very nice roll, but uh, the rock is accessible. Watch where it ends up. Get the nice Ooh. roll, but it's still behind the tee line. Hindsight's a great thing in this game, isn't it? Heather Godverson. Just for way, yeah, yeah, hurry! Woo! Right out of her Woo! hand now, it's hurry! Brenda Bulmer, Kate Horn, hurry! trying to hold it up hurry! now. Trying to hold it if they can. Hold it if they can. Great brushing. Great shot. Four, right? Whoa. 
Got it by. And then don't do anything else. Very interesting situation. One more rock on top of that, and I think the pin's covered. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, it's a big it. shot Whoa. for Kathy Cunningham. Yeah, go if you can. She's got to get it right to the face of it if she can. If she gets it yeah. there, that yeah. hole could be gone. Yeah. Go hard, guys! We don't leave! We don't leave! Kathy Kerr had to get it there, though. Yeah. you got to yeah. get yeah. it there. Oh, wait, come on. Here they come oh, now. Yeah. Cover the pin. Yeah. Cover the pin. Yeah. Drag it. Drag it. Oh. Good rock, Kath. Good rock. Head away for the line. That's good. Real nice. Cut that, Heather. Yeah. This is the shot she's talking about. You wanna play it? Yep. Don't have a lot of time on the time clock, so Four. Heather's not coming down. But she did nod when Kathy asked if she wanted to play it. Just over four minutes remaining for Alberta. Some seven and a half remaining for Newfoundland. Oh. Alberta oh. still has timeouts for me. Final stone. Third stone for Alberta. This is that straight spot. Pick it. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh oh, 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 oh. That's not bad. Spilled off. Cut it off. Oh, what are you doing here, buddy? You can do that. He put it a little full, but it just you up your weight in that spot. It just won't curl. Yeah, eh? I think it's just that spot with weight. I agree, Kathy. I talked about how the players into react. Wish react. I may, wish I might. Give me my shot tonight, Heather Godperson. She's great, and and she's been he's working very well friend. with Kathy. They've been talking very well about the shots. <laughs> it's not easy. She's she's young. She's feisty. She's a skip in her own right, world champion. But they've had a. Very good day about communicating those shots. And she's flexible. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever did that, I'd never get up. Skip Stones, Newfoundland, Laura Phillips. What you got? Here in 10, 6 5, the team from St. John's leading. Line. Yeah. The line's good, just straight for weight now. They've got to judge this for weight. Nice. It'll break. Red. It'll break for her. Once again, this front end, they've absolutely swept miles. Kerr, Martin. Got to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. And right on top. Oh, what a good shot that is. Beauty, bud. It's a honey. As Cox says. Let's see where that's going. Can you hit it real thin, Linda? That's what she's looking at. Laura left it no. uh, on like the right hit side. Half of it, then we might. Yeah, because then we'll drive on here, but yeah. we'll spill that. Yep. It's got to be very thin, though. She looked, she looked at this thin one first, and now it's real thin coming that way. But what she's saying is if we just hit it just off the center. Actually, no, a little more than half with normal weight. Okay, hit this one. Okay, onto that one. And it'll, this stone here will come off of that onto that one. Let's see if we can screw it the red one will jam on this one. Normal. Alberta, Kathy Borsch, she led 3-1 after three. Finds herself down now, 6-5, playing 10. She has hammer, and this is her first stone. Get the action she wants. She's going to have to throw some weight at it. Heather Godfordson now calling them off. Nicklin's going to have to be careful. Third shot's now the redstone. Back eight foot, just biting the eight foot. It's the one Linda was talking about. What happens if we play that? She just hits this. Playing roll here, she yeah. hits that for one. Mm -hmm. We guard. 
This is, this is my last rock. <laughs> so mean. Oh, I see what you're saying. Guard, guard versus hit. Yeah. You think? Let's see what the girls say. Guard okay. versus hit. You want to call the time? It'll be uptight. Just while well, I. We don't need it. Yeah. What? Yeah. We should call a timeout. We're, we're, we're shot in third. We're shot. Oh no, we're we're not third shot. Right, we'll no. Are you sure we're not? No, we're not. Positive. You could hit this one. Okay, we don't want try and roll over to here. Well, that's the thing. You don't want to leave her. Then we hit the and roll double. Over here. If we hit, if we hit, we have to roll to the wings. Yeah. Away from shot rock. Yeah. To minimize the chance for the double. Yeah. Or, or yeah. she's two and three. We can throw up a guard. Throw up a guard, then you're giving them the chance. But at the same time, if you hit, hit, then you're giving them the extra end. What do we like? What do you like? I think we should hit. I do too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's just that the <laughs> What they're afraid of, what Laura's afraid of, afraid of doing is if she hits it and leaves a double, she gives her the, the double for we'll Just um, hit that roll here, eh? For yep. the win. Okay. All right. What would you play here, Just Linda? control well, weight, Well, this Laura? is something that, this is our hard, you can... Whew. Yeah. Play the guard if you wanted, you could... I'd be tempted to play the hit because yeah. Alberta's had a little bit of trouble finding the spot to hit these properly, and thus a double would be difficult. Kathy did make a good double back in three, I believe, going away from the cross. Just control. For two. One thing you can't do for sure, Linda, is roll out. Absolutely. And this is a straighter spot, so weight is very important. Laura Phillips at her final stone. She's up by one. Yep. Yep. Now is the double there? Sure. Throw up more than they thought. For the win. We've got to hit it right in the pocket, though. Exactly That's the good. same time. He's come oh, up a little bit too much. Yeah, came up a little. That's a good shot. Normal weight. Shot. Will it curl enough? No. Yes. You're gonna throw up, aren't you? Yeah. Got to hit it right, as Linda said, on the, right at the same time, right in that pocket there. Got a nail Catch right between this them. one and this one at the same time. Split them both. For the win and a chance to move on to the semifinal tomorrow. Normal. Anything complicated? I mean, beyond that, is this a... Well, the, good, the good thing about this is if you hit it on the nose, you don't get the double, you're going to be shot rock. Final stone, oh, Kathy Borst. Yeah. Jumping all over it again. Yeah. Bowler, yeah. Horn, trying to get the two for the win. Needs the two for the win. Right in the middle. No, she'll sit there for one. We'll go to an extra end. Pardon? Newfoundland. Uh, do you want the three minutes? I don't care. No, it matter to me. Newfoundland will have hammer and an extra end of a 6 6 tie. The 1997 Scott Tournament of Hearts from Vancouver is brought to you by Scott Towels, absorbent, strong, and lots on a roll. Turkey and chicken, a sorted sub. Popular downtown deli or the Winklers on Maple Street. Introducing the new and improved taste of Maple Leaf sandwich meats that will turn your home into a deli. Deli shaved Black Forest ham, oven roasted turkey and chicken. Sub Express with ham bologna and summer sausage. 
You forgot the muster on table seven. And you forgot your check. New Maple Leaf Sandwich Meats. Taste that's a cut above. Got a Dristan cold? Get Dristan. Relief of sinus cold symptoms. A Dristan cold is a sinus cold. More than a runny nose and congestion, it's pain and pressure in your sinuses. Got a Dristan cold? Get Dristan extra strength. Relief of your worst sinus cold symptoms. Wearing a tested helmet helps prevent injuries. Think safety and stay in the game. Hi, folks. I'm Michael Landsberg standing by with Sports Desk. As soon as the curling is over, we'll have a full recap of the day in sport, including a look at the Blue Jays and their kickoff to the spring season. That's Sports Desk right after curling. Now back to Vancouver. Final zone of that 10, the chance for the win for Alberta. Well, it's a tough double. You have to hit them exactly at the same time, but Kathy Boris had a chance to end it right here. Took very little ice, and it just curled up too much. Hit the one in the left first and didn't get them both. So we go to this extra end, and just a reminder again, sports desk immediately following. Centerline guard put up by Alberta, and then Newfoundland's Heather Martin trying the, the Gouldie, trying to come across the face and ticket and just missed very close so much pressure on the leads in these shots Kate Horn got up the good stone the free guard zone rock and now they want to try and come around it both teams have been in extra ends Alberta winning two Newfoundland winning one the important thing with these is not to get them too close together so there's no double peel. Yeah, come on. Four foot anywhere yeah. in this situation is hurry. fine. Doesn't have to be totally hurry, buried. Hurry, hurry, hurry. T line. Right up. Right up, right up, right up, right up. Right up. Great shots by Kate. Good shot, Katie. Kate Horn, top four. And the Control. peel. One or the other. Three. Pick it out or get the front one. No, they want the front they one. The peel. Whoa, they want the peel. Whoa. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Jam it. Oh dear. She did. Yeah, That's the worst her. possible thing. When you don't have last rock. That's something you dream about, isn't it? And the, That's right. The jam, jam. Try and tuck this around. Well, not where it was light. Take a look, take a look. No, take a look. Yep. Okay. A little bit of panic there, the pressure of the situation, perhaps. Well, the, the stone well, wasn't. Do the that way? <laughs> okay, that's all right. This way. Yeah, that's fine. You get the other ones okay, too. Listen to them. Just control away, Kath. Yeah. The back one was in the forefoot. With the jam jam, it's now outside the forefoot. So keep in mind that Laura Phillips has made a lot of key draws going this way. So if she can just give herself a chance, even though she may be looking at one, she's going to have a chance to bite that forefoot. And she's made, and I yeah. would think that yeah. she'll try and keep this outturned side Three. open. Uh, because that's where she's been Three. making a lot of her draws. <laughs> Kathy Kerr roll, got it by. In reverse of okay, that, if I think uh, if I was Kathy Porce, I'd be trying to work the, 
work a little bit the other way. That's it on the center line, try and get the, uh, keep the outturn closed if possible. I think definitely later in the end, they'll really try Top. to move over mm -hmm. to the right of center. Can you correct me if I'm wrong here, but I, I can't recall a lot of intern draws down here. We had Let's a few of them in the fifth end with the steel Good attempt time. there. The one the got other guard person threw that caught something. Oh, so yeah. I didn't get a good look at it. Hey, we'll see one here. There. I'm sure one Laura's here. watching it closely because she may have to come that way as well. Brenda Bomer. Having to sweep it hey, to get oh. it close to the center oh. really hung out. Chance to get a couple off of there now. Get more than one of them. Normal. Dream shot would be to get all three of them. Just a touch on the outside, catching the back one. Yeah. Three. Kathy Kerr. Three. Whoa, whoa. Across the face. Got two. Yep. Left the shooter still covering that Alberta zone sitting top eight. Now, which side do you protect? Yeah. I think we you and I have already talked about that, so. You can't protect them all, so you maybe take the one away that you think she knows the best. Long guard is fine here as well. You don't have to be in that tight. Mine's good. Heather Godverson as we play third stones of this extra hey, end in a 6-6 six, six tie. Got a curl, yep. Yep. Three for nine now. Hard. Hard. Hurry. Hurry. This is where it breaks very hard. Oh. It won't, won't. We had won't. one straight note right there. Remember, remember yeah, the extra weight. Oh. Nice shot. That's a very nice shot. Normal. Yep. Trying the double peel again, the yellow one on the broom side across the face of the other. Yellow rock onto the red one, the dimensions. Nope. Oh. Kathy Cunningham Close. calls them off. Close. Yep. Yeah. Hurry. Whoa. Hurry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good Great shot. Great shot. To open it up. And the race stone will hang around the edge of the 12, and Cunningham is pumped. Yeah, that was a terrific shot. Really, Alberta hasn't had an end where it's been setting up for a steal. Newfoundland's been the one with the steal opportunities. And that's one way to really take a steal possibility away. Heather's got to make a good guard here. Not only that, you push a rock in the rings. Fingers. Keep in mind that the loser of this game is out. The winner has an opportunity to play the loser of Allison Goring, Sandra Schmurler. Kathy Cunningham. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Three. Hurry. Hurry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another jam. Moved it off the four foot. Remember, well, I just gave you out here, and you just, oh, no, for your guard, yeah. And it cut quite a bit, so I don't want to, you know, it dives in there, right? That's what you want it to do, right? <laughs> That's what we want it to do. That's absolutely right. a lot more than I planned, but 
You can chalk that one up to a drain. drill and then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that's something you have to battle too, is that little rush of blood to the head, the adrenaline flow, keep everything under control. Skip Stones here in this extra, and this is the first by Alberta's Kathy Borst. And everybody's watching this one to see what it does, you got lots what the weight's like. I bet the stopwatches are all out on this line. one. It's gotta be T. It's gotta be T line. Should come now. Doesn't have the very good line. It's got the perfect Whoa. weight. It just didn't snap like I thought it would. Hmm. So a little less ice she needs, obviously. Yeah, little inside flop would be nice. Yeah. Just control. Yeah. Oh. Didn't come off the hill, eh? You got it almost throw out to the eight foot for it to curl in there. To be out a little further is what she's saying to catch the hill. That See that curled less than your guard, and I had more ice for your guard. Yeah. I'm sure Laura likes the fact that this is her side she prefers, the outturn hit. This is the yes! first for the Newfoundland skip. Hooray! Out of the hand again, you can Hooray! hear Kathy Cunningham calling on Hooray! Kathy Kerb. Heather Hooray! Martin Hooray! fighting just to get it by now. Hooray! Fighting, fighting, hold it up, Hooray! looking for the inside roll. Inside roll. Great brushing and a terrific shot. Come around there, right? Yeah, I like to draw. How do we get in there, though? That's the problem. Same thing, just less ice. See, no, see, less ice, less ice you take, the less it curls. You throw it here, and it'll probably curl in, but you throw in here, and I don't know if it will. You could play this one, is what they talked about, first of all, but then you just leave her a draw to the eight foot for the win. So you heard. Uh, Heather say, I like the draw. Let's try and get, whoops, it is a, let's try Come and get in and around throw tap. Here. You don't like that? Kathy's still not set in her mind. She has not seen, she has not visualized not in her mind scene, a all. good outturn draw that she's thrown in this spot. I just don't know if we can bury this. It's terrible to go into the hack and not see that in your mind. Four foot. She'll have to put it in the blue. And look at that. The number may tell you the story before she even throws. Stay close. Kathy yeah, Borst, yeah. her final yeah. stone. Whoa. Lots of yeah. weight, oh says Brenda yeah. Bomer. Kate Horn, now. Whoa. Whoa. Waiting for it to break. No, it's now, now, did she throw it through? Newfoundland may not have to throw the last one. May not have to throw the last one. They won't. <laughs> Newfoundland and Laura Phillips from the St. John's Curling Club. Through to the semifinal. And the story of draws tells the story for Alberta and Kathy Morse. Good game. Good luck. Newfoundland wins at 7-6 in an extra end. And after a quick start this week, the Alberta team of Borst started to hit some rough patches. Oh, we held in there good, guys. We held in there And now they find themselves Everybody out of this year's Scott Tournament of Hearts. Game. Laura Phillips and Newfoundland, a winner in this quarterfinal. <laughs>
Time now for the TSN Turning Point, brought to you by the Canadian Standards Association. Well, here in the extra end, Laura Phillips has to play a very narrow hit and get to try and get a little roll. Kathy Bors has a tough draw to make after this. You can see she just gets by the front one. She gets the roll inside. Forcing Alberta to make the draw that didn't make it, and she didn't have to throw her last one. A cash donation will be made to the Coaching Association of Canada for the training and development of coaches in amateur sport on behalf of TSN and the Canadian Standards Association, helping to make products safer for people. Newfoundland's Laura Phillips, Kathy Cunningham, and team are through to the semifinal. That comes up tomorrow, and they'll play either Saskatchewan or Ontario. That's the game we'll have at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific. The winner through to the final. The loser will play Newfoundland. Till then, on behalf of Linda Ray and our entire crew, we'll see you in a few hours back here in Vancouver. Sports Desk is next.